Welcome to the stream, everybody. Hello, 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 everyone. Dexath with the first today. Heinrich with the Marius in lap. Bam! And then a posture check and hydrate from Avi. Thank you very much. Let's start the stream off right. I've been working on my posture a little bit this past week, too. I keep trying to get back to it. It's pretty bad. I'm full gamer posture. Vominos Meza flexing the gold hearts there. The gold hearts. Incredible, incredible. Hello, Beanie. Yes, there is a Beanie here and then a life support system for the Beanie. It's not too early for a shoey either. Yo, I can't do alcohol these days. Back in the day, we used to do shoeys on this stream. It was a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, I can't do alcohol these days. I had one drink yesterday. It was my first drink in a long time. Vamanos! And within like, it was one drink. And then in like an hour or two, I was hungover. <laughs> And this was like the afternoon. I had that one drink at like uh, 3 p.m. or something like that. And then I was like hungover. <laughs> Just a couple hours later, I was hanging out with a friend and they were like, uh, how you feeling? You don't really drink. And I'm like, I feel hungover already. <laughs> They're like, oh shit. I skipped the, um, the drunk phase. You know, like the fun drunk phase <laughs> where you're just vibing? I skipped that. I went straight to hangover. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot for the follow, uh, Tsugiwar. Thank you. Much appreciated. Um, what are we gonna do? Oh, actually, actually, you know what? I forgot about this. Uh, plus program. Plus program, one second. We have to put this back on. We are on the last month of the plus program. Oh, I didn't update that at all. Shit, I should have done that before. I knew I was forgetting something. Always forgetting something. Always. Wait, why isn't it appearing? Oh my god. Technical difficulties straight off the bat. That's pretty cool. Huh. Just a moment, folks. But uh, yeah, new month. Uh, basically, if you guys don't know about the uh, plus program. Let me just fix this. It shouldn't take too long. Sorry about this, guys. Da -da 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 plus program here. Boop. Enable, enable, disable, disable, check text. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the uh, the actual text on screen though. So the bot should be good now. Uh, yeah, that was the old text. So if we do plus program again, I don't know if it'll work right now. Should be different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Plus program is shadow here. Plus program. Oh, here we go. So that should make it appear. Okay. But now the number is done wrong. So let me just fix that. What is the number? What are we at? We should be at like near zero, right? How the fuck do I check? Oh, here. 52. Yo, we're starting, we're starting at 52. Not bad. We're past halfway. <laughs> we're past halfway. Whoa. Not bad. 52. Okay. There we are. There we go. Okay. Okay. Take care. Good. Uh, not bad. Not bad. You get this cool heart on tier three. Everyone just saying, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Meza, Meza's uh, not wrong there. Not wrong. Uh, how to sub, I don't sub now. <laughs> yeah, gifted subs don't count. It is a weird system. But we're on the third month. If we get it this month, we get one whole year. We do, we, we've, we've done it. And then... Uh, uh, and then... Uh, and then uh, we get that for a year. That's pretty sick. Oh, it's keys. Wait, I think I do know keys. <laughs> You've got an emote, emote now for that. Hello, keys. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, month just started. This is looking good. So this is like, that's a big, big thanks to everyone who's done like, I, I guess it's the multi-month subscriptions. Maybe that's why they just carry over immediately or something. But uh, yeah, huge. I was just in the replay to get motivation for work and wish you alive. Bam. And now I am. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't do a uh, dev stream this week, unfortunately. I had um, a bunch of errands to do this week, uh, but I also had a lot of time to 
uh, work on the game as well, which is nice. Um, so there's been there's actually been a lot of progress on the game in terms of writing, a lot of like great, great, great progress. So that's really, really cool. Hi, I'm Bikers. It's 4 a.m. here. No worries, Keys. Have a good sleep. Um, Dien Dobri. Is that, is that hello or good, like good day in Polish or something, Robchok? Uh, hello, Robchok. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get some more dev streams next week or something. I think next week is, uh, let me just check my calendar. I think we're a bit more free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There ain't shit next week. So we can absolutely spare one or two, uh, maybe afternoons or something for dev streams. But I have been, uh, as I've said before, I've been working at my friend's studio. And it's, it's been feeling really good working there, working on my game at my friend's studio while they make their game. And it's been, uh, it's just been a nice environment to be in for sure, which has been super cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning, good morning. Okay, there it is, there it is. Friend of mine is just starting to embark on her game dev journey and wanted to use Unity, but then I showed her your videos. Now she's using Godot following your videos. <laughs> oh no, following my videos, she's doomed. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't follow my videos. <laughs> Maybe the uh, the C -sharp .net one is a good video. I think that's a pretty good video. I still get comments on that video from people saying that that's been really helpful to get them set up, that it's still like, even after any .net updates or VS Code updates or Godot updates, it seems to still be helping people, which is nice. So that's a good one. Yeah. But uh, thanks for recommending your friend to my content. Much appreciated, Heinrich. And I uh, wish them all the best. Uh, good dog, Max Standy. How are you? How are you? Okay, I'm gonna start up the game now. That's enough chit chat, chitter chatter. We chit and chat more than enough here today. Uh, time to start the game. Whoopsies, I didn't have Epic open. I don't know if that was an update or not. Am I finished with those errands? Which errands? The ones from this week? I did. I did finish the errands. Actually, I had a lot of like errands stuff. I had tax stuff to do. That all got completely sorted. Um, there's oh, there's actually one more form that I'm waiting on that I need to submit. But like basically, I don't need to figure anything out. I just need to kind of send something when I get it, which is nice. Um, there was some, I had like doctor's appointments like spread out throughout the week, which is kind of annoying. But um, it was still productive. It was still good. Had a good week. Did you all have a good week as well? I sure hope so. Game is opening. Game is opening. Once it starts loading my save, I'll switch over to the game scene. Anything interesting happening for y'all? I have a friend of mine. Um, every time I say like, you know, hey, how's it going? They're like, I went to a Taco Bell and it was on fire. Like, it's just, it's just bizarre. It's like, every day is like a movie in their life. It's wild. They're like, I went outside to get the mail and a horse knocked over my mailbox. Oh, okay. It's just one of those, one of those people. Chaos follows them everywhere they go. Spent my week in the garden. What were you doing in the garden? Were you like, uh, are you growing like vegetables or like plants? Or were you just like chilling in the sun? What was the, the plan? Yo, speaking of sun, where'd our sun go? It was like Sweden's April Fool's joke. What the hell was that about? On Monday, on the April 1st, it was sunny and warm here. And I was like, wow, I can feel the warmth of the sun. The very next day, I put a, if you guys aren't part of the Discord, I put a picture in the media channel there. It was oh, oh. horizontal snow. Was threatening with unsubscribing, so had to sub for the threat to be credible. <laughs> Thank you very much, Heinrich, for the tier one sub. Much appreciated. And that will be, uh, that will be one more point. Thank you very much. Plus program counter oh, goes up. Well, if you have a hangover, remember to fly prudently. Jetpack and make it worse. Okay. All right. I'll, 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 geez. We are going to be flying quite a bit today. We'll see. I'm not hungover now though. I was hungover two hours after the drink yesterday. I'm good now. It's the second day. Uh, fortunately, actually, I don't know. Cause Ruri, you multi-subbed. I think that maybe your, your counter has already been counted. I'm not sure. Anyway, thank you so much. Uh, much appreciated. Happy to have you here. Uh, anyway, so so Monday was like a ni nice way of the day. And then like Tuesday, it was horizontal snow. Like it was snowing so much that everything was like, 
your vision was gray. Like you couldn't even see that far. It was snowing so much. And every street, like I was walking down a street and the snow was coming directly at my face. And I was like, this is rough. But if I turn in this next street, at least I'll be perpendicular from the snow and I won't have snow in my face anymore. Of course not. There's like a vortex on the other street where that's got horizontal snow. It's actually crazy. Um, and uh, that, that was wild. And then and then since then, it warmed up just a little bit, just enough to have the um, really wet snow and ice everywhere. And I've like nearly died 10 fucking times throughout this week. So uh, it's been a rough week weather-wise here in, in, in Ukovda. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully that improves. Uh, maybe maybe that's winter is lost kind of fuck you and then it'll go away swedish april weather yeah one get caught off guard every year As, on april 1st first too that's why i have trust issues you know what will happen yeah this year was crazy oh boy <laughs> horizontal snow was my nickname in college all right nice i don't i feel like there's a really good story there ben thank you very much for the tier one sub uh and again i think that's one more point I'm not sure if it was a point that was, cause, yeah, I'm not sure if it's a point that was already counted. I'm not sure. We'll just add. We'll add a point anyway. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Twenty-five degrees until, including Tuesday. Jeez, Heinrich. We don't. Yeah, we haven't had twenty-five degrees yet. Go. Yeah, sorry. You got outplayed. By the way, I absolutely did. I slipped twice. Uh, I didn't fall or hurt myself too bad, but like, you know, snow all over my pants and my my arms and stuff was. Instead, the wild animals kill you. In Sweden, it's the snow it melts, freezes again. Yeah, exactly. I'm just tossing points around. I'm juggling the points. Wait, you guys know I can juggle really well? Have I ever showed you? Anyway, the game. I forgot that we're playing Satisfactory today. Um, game. Uh, this will appear soon. I think I've juggled on stream before. I'll have to juggle again one day. Maybe we want to get to... Uh, one million subs. I'll juggle. Juggling balls. Balls are touching. Juggling. Well, they won't be, actually. They'll be flying around left, right, and center. All over the place. <laughs> juggle low points. What? 100,000? 100,000 uh, points for me to ju juggle. Oh, you thought this was the weather stream? Sorry. Sorry, Ben. It was a weather stream until, uh, and then you threw me the sub, and I was like, <laughs> now's my chance. And we, we switched over to Satisfactory. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do juggling one day. Look forward to it. I have a, my coffee here. I know that if I juggle within 100 meters of my apartment, I will drop a ball into the coffee. Uh, okay, so here we are. This is where we are. We made the nuclear pasta. And I deleted some foundations because uh, I was uh, taking... Um, thumbnails. So we need to... Uh, the things that we need to do today... I want to... Uh, I need to plug these into the space elevator, for starters. Uh, the other thing is I want to fix the turbo fuel tower. And then I also want to fix my aluminium casings th production, which works at the moment. But if you remember from last stream, we turned a bunch of stuff up, uh, off so that I had the aluminium casings, um, you know, for here. But I kind of want the other stuff to work correctly. Like I, I want I want it to work at 100% like capacity, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, this goes into there. Okay, so actually this is plugged in maybe already. Let's uh, push the, put the pasta back in the um, particle accelerator. I just had this like weird thought. Hmm. Why did this not have enough uh, copper powder?
50. Oh, maybe this was just starting up. The production is still starting up. This is 50. That's 200 per minute. This takes 200 per minute, so we should be good. Maybe let's check belts real quick. That's 50 out, 50 out, and they combine into MK2, which is 120. And then it's 240. MK3, MK3 is what, 270? Yeah, okay, so we're good with belts and everything. I think maybe it was just kicking off. All well, the copper wasn't coming in. Well, these are not running at 100% yet. Maybe because the, uh, uh, it's probably just that the machines aren't saturated, <laughs> but they look really saturated. <laughs> Why are you idle? Oh, you're missing copper? Oh, because the copper isn't saturated yet. Yeah, maybe... Oh, jeez. I guess we'll come back to this. Let's double check to make sure that the nuclear pasta is going to the space elevator first. Uh, it should come down here. Go through here. I don't know if I finished this build here, because I think I ran out of uh, plates, actually. Yep. I did. Let's go back and get some more iron plates. Coffee, yes. Get the coffee, it's important. Can't wait for RimWorld DLC, nice. Never played RimWorld. Seen other people play it though. Uh, does Swedish on-site weather report impression of vertical snow situation? Vertical or horizontal snow? Because we were talking about horizontal before, we just want to make sure that you're... Yeah. Oh, what you said before was a Spongebob reference. The Aaron's thing, James? My bad, I missed it. Horizontal, gotcha. My what's my favorite nuclear pasta sauce? Carbonara. Nuclear carbonara is my favorite pasta. I really enjoy me some nuclear carbonara. I don't know about you guys. Uh, <laughs> omnidirectional snow, easy. Yeah, okay. Okay, you guys ready? Hey, Ali Hooper, we got horizontal snow here today. That's right. No matter what direction you're coming in, the, the snow is going to be horizontal. Don't even bother trying to get around it. Just accept it. Take it in the face. That's right. Vominos. Hey, dog. <laughs> Vominos. Okay, there you go. Perfect Swedish accent. The snow, Heinrich, all right? <laughs> uh, I think that says more about you guys than it does about me, all right? Okay, so what I'm thinking is maybe I turn this one to be kind of like This instead. Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad. First try, let's go. We're gaming, we're gaming. And then this will be the pasta line. You know? I feel like should this be over one? Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know, it's all kind of scuffed. You know what? Who gives a shit? So then I'll have to add. This goes here. Ah, 
Yep. Oh wait, there's only three inputs here, right? Shit, we're gonna have to go around. We're gonna have to go around. Maybe this should go, keep going, and then this one can go to where it went. Kind of like this. Little jank. Maybe. Oh, there go, there goes two parts. Okay, so I think I think actually this should take the middle. The top one should take the left. Pasta can go around here. Wait, is this nuclear pasta? Looks like it is. It's time to party! Oh my god, it is time to party. Spongelet! Welcome in, th Raiders. Thank you very much for the, the, the raid. Hello, hello everyone. Hope you're all having a good day. Hope you had a good stream. What were you up to? Also, you don't have to stay and talk. You're probably tired. If you want to go and do something else, go do something else. That's fine too. We all chill in here. Welcome. We're playing Satisfactory. Um, well, Jank goes a long way. It does, Meza. Yeah. Hello. Is that a crab? Is that a hermit crab? Holy shit. My spirit animal. Welcome, welcome. Doing stage four parts and then fixing some uh, factory factories that aren't uh, running 100% today. That's the, the plan. That's the plan. Let's go back and put these in the machines. I could just put them directly to the space elevator, but there's part of me that just doesn't want to do that. I feel like I feel like these little I don't want to deprive the uh, the parts, the space elevator parts, the the little adventure that they that they no doubt have riding the conveyor belts. They probably really enjoy it. Crap. Indeed, indeed. Wait, one, three, five, two, four, six. Is this the new counting style, Bobby? Are we changing how we count? Did math change? That's pretty cool. Uh, this is one of them here, right? Here, go in there. Go in there. There you go. This one. Where does this get made again? Ads! Ads! Assembly directory system. Isn't it you? No. Wait. Where, where are you made? Who sent you? Who do you work for? Who does number two work for? Is it over here? No, that's... Wait, where did these even get made? I forget. I didn't make these that long ago. I need someone else to tell me where I make these. Do I make them below? I guess I can... I guess I make them below. One other thing I wanted to do was... I wanted to set up a sink, potentially, for the space elevator parts. Because they currently... Huh? There's only three here. Wait. Oh, then it must be this. Yeah, there it is. Um, I wanted to set up a sink. I don't know if there's a particularly easy way for me to do that right now. Um, let's see. I don't think there's anything pretty I can do, but it's all kind of gross down here anyway, so maybe we just make it gross. Um, because I have an awesome sink. 
above me somewhere. There it is. So I could potentially just like hook into this little sink system. And just do smart splitters. Yeah, I think we'll have to do it. It's, just, it's gonna be really gross, but it's... Uh, I don't think we need to... The, once, once the once the things are full, anyway, I think. Uh, <clears throat> Is there any other elegant solution? I don't really think so. Do you take casings? I take some casings. How many batteries per minute? Five per minute. Okay. So we actually save five casings here when this thing fills up. But okay, let's do a uh, smart splitter. Doing some satisfactory passing the love. Cool. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. What were you doing in the uh, the old satisfactory? Okay, I just set up some like really gross smart splitters. Um, uh, left output will be overflow. This is really bad. Actually, I really don't like this here. I think I want it closer to the space elevator. That way the overflow won't back up as much when there is an overflow. Oh, you got allergies today, Meza? That sucks. I visited a friend's house recently, and they had, um, they had cats, and I'm allergic to cats, and I, like, my body was shook for, like, three days. <laughs> my body was like, no. Alright, you know what? We do this. And these were supposed to be smart splitters. Let's see here. Overflow. Overflow. This is temporary stuff, you know? Once the space elevator has its parts, all this can go away. Will it though? Maybe. Well, yeah, it probably would, because I would just sink everything, right? I, I would probably just sink everything at that point. I'm coping pretty hard right now. Uh, right output would be overflow, and then we can maybe make a, another sink out here. <laughs> I need one reinforced iron plate, hello. Um, which trees chose violence? They probably did. Uh, hey there, Jace. Thanks for doing what you do, and congrats on automating all space elevator parts. Thank you. Thank you very much. Much no. appreciated for the uh, resub. Really, another user. I think that's another uh, plus point as well. Oh shit, we can't see them. Let me turn this back on because we are doing the. Wait, where did it go? Boom. There it is. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you. And uh, yeah, it feels good to finally automate them all. And uh, now we can see that we've got 17 pastas that have gone into the. Uh, Space elevator now. That's that's pretty sick. It's been years since I've last seen satisfactory gameplay. A lot has probably changed. Yeah, a lot has changed. Oh right, it's the trees that gave you the allergies. I get. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boop, boop. Luckily, I don't get that from allergies. Okay, Dexath redeemed. Give Jay's advice on how to play the game. Okay, folks, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. First, partially check and hydrate. All right, let's do that. Let's make sure we're in the the best possible posture for this. This is a big deal. 
because it's 99,999 points. Okay? The thing is, my streams are always no backseating. So you, you can't, you can't, um, you can't tell, you can't, you can't give me advice how to play the game, right? And Dexeth has redeemed for 99,999 points. Uh, also, they're the first person to ever do it. No one has ever done it be uh, before. This is the first time ever. All right? And there's no better time for this to happen than right now when the music is about to really, really jam. So let's throw a bit of a party and then we'll see what they have to say. Are you guys ready? Because I am. Vamanos! Music's so good. Jam away. It's a time to celebrate. Wait, it's too good. Hang on. Raw. Why does it slap so hard? <laughs> Hell yeah. All righty. All righty. All righty. All right. Well, Dexath. What do you want me to do? How do I play the game? What do I do, Dexath? I, I don't know how to play the game. I need help. Help me. Meep Mop. The floor is yours. Oh, you wrote it already. Shit. I missed it. Now it's buried. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the advice would be... you First you... And then you vomitos. And then you heal if something goes wrong. Okay. So here we go. Ready? Ready? First, step one. Vominos! Now we have to wait for something to go wrong. And when we do, we'll drop the heal. Okay? <laughs> uh, reinforce iron plate. Toggle! My wounds, boy! Yeah, well, there we is. I needed one more reinforced iron plate. Toggle! My wounds, boy! My wounds, boy! My wounds, boy! My wounds, boy! There you are. Toggle. <laughs> there they are. Now we're good. Ah, everything is better. Sometimes I miss the Final Fantasy 16 gameplay. Yo! Yo, streaming Final Fantasy 16 with you guys made that game great for me. Honestly, because the game was average on its own. But streaming it with you guys was like, it, it was good. It was not, you know what I mean? It was good in moments. It was lame in other moments. But but sharing it with you guys was really fun. That was That was better than just the game on its own. That was way better than just the game on its own. Uh, I don't think the game could have been as good as it was uh, without <laughs> without all the the memes and the clips. Had his nose buried in my nuts. <laughs> so many good moments. Oh dear. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Wait. Fuck, he's seen us yet. Hang on a second. Michael249 has redeemed give advice. Give James advice how to play the game. Wait. How, how many of you have this? No one has spent this before. Uh, okay, Michael. The, f the floor is yours. How do I play the game? I'm still learning. You just got it. 151 points left. Oh, holy shit. You have 145. <laughs> oh, okay. Look up to the left is your advice. Oh, that was your advice. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. This is my left. That's right to you. Do you want my my left is this way, okay? Uh, 
I'm gonna do it for you, for your, you guys. Oh, in, ga in game. You'll keep them for the moment, Rui? Okay. There it is! We did it! That's another one. Another e easy 100k points. Uh, you guys don't know, but I pay my rent with uh, with uh, Twitch channel points, by the way. So thank you very much. Uh, I think I'm good for another, uh, you know, couple months now. Five out of seven advice. That's a good plateau. Also, I mean, look at this tower here that was built like on the first day that I started this save. And I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll delete this later. And it's still there. Uh, okay, so I just need some shitty solution here. Um, sure. Just anything will do. See here. Oh, what I could probably do is what if I do this? Vamanos. Vamanos. Okay. And then we do give it one of these. Give it one of these. This could probably go in here. And this can probably go in here. This can go in here. You're fucking kidding me. Whatever. Um, obviously disgusting. But this can be thought out a little better later. Actually, yeah, this is literally temporary. So... Okay, you know what? We can do a little better. Can we? No, we can't. Fuck it. That's it. I don't care. I don't care about this. Uh, okay. Um... <clears throat> Up to the left, Poggies. Yeah, good redeem. <laughs> uh, how many channel points for me to delete the tower? 99,000. I mean, anyone could have told me to delete the tower. Right? So, it's a moment, monument now. It is. Try to write a book about how to play satisfactory. I'm at 47.8k points. Once I get there, I'll make you read said book. Play the game step by step. It'll probably take multiple streams. But it'll be the best step by step guide about how to play you've ever seen. <laughs> I got you know what I feel I feel I feel conflicted about about taking those points by the way I feel kind of conflicted Yeah this is some janky design Jace Tyrant embodies the program and motto there's nothing more permanent than a temporary solution You know what I'm pretty good about replacing temporary solutions That is not an example of that uh, claim of course naturally but I am pretty good about it I am I'll I'll waggle my finger at that I am pretty good about it. Oh, it is the it is the worst thing that I built. I, it hurts, Ben. It hurts. It hurts. It, it actually is. You're completely right. It definitely is. Um, so one thing we've uh, screwed around a little bit here. So one thing I want to double check to so make sure these are set. Right should be overflow. Right should be overflow. Yep. Oh, we also need to power the sink. I forgot about that part. Which is actually pretty important. Here we are. Okay. Um, so yeah, now that we've sort of uh, screwed around a little bit here, I kind of want to take a look again at the um, particle accelerator and see if... and, and the, and the uh, foundries to see if they're actually... Producing a little bit better now. I'm still a little concerned about if I'm bringing enough copper over. Oh, speak of the devil. Here comes the copper. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. 
Is this copper? No, this is iron. This is copper. We're now out of copper. Hmm. How much copper ore are we bringing over per minute? 288 items per minute is the incoming transfer rate. I think that that's a very bad number because I think I needed 75 times one, 75 times eight is 600 or something, yeah. So we're bringing in less than half the copper we need. Okay, we have to we have to go to our to-do list here because there's a lot of things wrong. Copper ore to check ore need 600. Or we'll say it's like what was it? it was like 280 or something? Two, 288 out of 600. 288 out of 600. Uh, turbo fuel compacted coal needs checking. Uh, and then the other thing was um, find a way to fix aluminium casings, uh, which is low, the lowest priority um, since we actually don't need more aluminium casings, but we had to turn off machines to achieve that. And it would just be kind of nice if uh, we didn't have to turn machines off for that. That would be kind of nice. So I think I might go check the copper ore. This guy just showed up. Let's take a look here. This is going to say 288 again. Because that's 3.46 stacks per minute. Okay, so this is half... So there, it, it's not that the drone is full, right? The, the, the drone has this much space, right? Or, right? It has the same inventory. It, it, can, it can send, like, a full thing, right? Hey, Luna. I've been good about my temporary solutions. Powerful off of a longer distance cables. I, I remember people suggested that back in the day. G'day, mate. G'day, Enforce. Taking those points. I 100% wanted to do that and don't feel scared. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's a fun moment. It was really cool. I never thought I'd ever see it, but yeah. So I'm pretty sure I'll have to check the drone, but I'm pretty sure the drone can deliver this many stacks. Uh, and if it can't, then we have a problem. But let's go take a look at the copper. Otherwise, I might have to put a second drone down, maybe, and double the throughput, but we still weren't getting enough... We still weren't getting the throughput per minute with one, so I couldn't even do it with two. I have to find the bottleneck, and I'm hoping that the bottleneck is just, like... Just from the miner, and that, like, maybe there's, like, a... <clears throat> an incorrectly placed uh, belt somewhere that's, you know, slowing things down. Uh, and I hope that the problem is not going to be actually with the drones themselves. Drone has less. Okay. Yeah. That could be a problem. That could be a problem. <sighs> Nine slot inventory. Okay. How many slots was that? Uh, what does the drone board have? I think it was like, yeah, maybe it was 18. Was it half? Uh, double, sorry. Double the... Jeez. Nine slot inventory. But then how many copper in one stack? 100? That should still be fine, right? Copper ore. What's the max stack of copper ore? Isn't that, isn't that 100? Because what I need is 600. Well, I need 600 per minute. Okay, so we're good with batteries, obviously. Okay. 
one hundred each. But that means the drone is going to take. The drone would take nine hundred. If it has nine slots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's eighteen. Round trip time is three minutes. That means it takes nine hundred. Ah, divide by three. So it takes 300 per minute, but then a little under 300 per minute. Right, so the, the transfer rate is correct. I would need more, I would need, if I have a second drone. But even that's not enough. Jesus. Uh, I wonder if there's a way for me to have a second drone. Um... Right, I had to use uh, when something goes wrong, right? That was what Dexeth said. My wounds, boy! <laughs> uh, just gonna overclock the drone real quick. Yeah, this is 900 on it. Right. Does adding... I don't think adding one drone precisely doubles the round trip time. Or does it? It does, but it's still not enough. Oh man, that sucks. That really sucks. I don't want to build a whole ass drone port. Another one? Can I have... I can't have three drones, can I? I could probably make another drone port. Um... I don't have the parts for it. Options here. Yeah, I could have, uh, but wait, can't you only have, um, can, can I have, can I have three drones on between one port? Can I only build one here and one on the other port? Or can I build like another one here and then build another one here? Can I just build three three drones? I, I thought I couldn't do that. Tear it down and build a train track. Get out of here, Edric. Special, uh, special purpose train. I mean, I could technically do that. There's a train station over there. I could hijack that and uh, bring an extra copper, but that's probably more work. You can have two drones on a pair of ports, but not three. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I could make one more port. And then I could have three drones, right? I could put two drones here and then one drone on the other one. I could do that. Um, and I think, I think they can. I think they can all target the same drone port, right? So I'll, I'll have, if I have another drone port here and another drone, this drone and this drone can target that same drone port. I think that's possible. <sighs> okay. Well, I don't see any other easy solution. Um, unfortunately, you can't overclock drones. One other thought that I had was like, because we're so close, right? Like, if you look at this, 
It's uh, not this one. If you look at this, it's 287. I'm like, oh, like the round trip is three minutes and eight seconds. I was like, what if I put the drone port just over there? <laughs> you know what I mean? Does that is it, does that save the time? Can we shave off eight seconds? Uh, we probably could uh, somehow. Hmm. I think the thing that makes the most sense is build another drone port. It's not it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's just that the uh, yeah this iron here will have to. Uh, Hmm. What do I do here? Well, for now... Vamanos! Vamanos! Okay, four... And then I can keep the copper going into another drone port. Or what I can do is... Maybe have the... There's just, like, OCD in me doesn't want copper ore to go in here, iron ore in here, and then copper ore go in here. You know what I mean? It wants the copper to be together. So that's what I'm thinking of right now. So either I make this one iron ore... And then the other two copper. Or I bring the copper into here and then make this one iron ore. I think I, I think I like that one better. All right. So what do we need for another drone port? Then we need some. I'm a kitty. It's true. I am actually a kitty. Um, meow. Hey, Kui Kui. Hello. Can someone uh, transcribe what she's? Oh, I forgot. Someone translated it before. Uh, what? Who? Sh hello. Relax. Uh, someone has translated what what she says at the beginning of the song before. Um, we have a French speaker here, Kui Kui, and there's probably others here. Hear this? Can you hear it? Uh, someone has translated. I forget. Um. Someone also said, can you not just put it on this side? I could probably just put it across. The The reason, though, is uh, I'm saving this for... Um, what was I saving this for? I forget. Battery delivery, I think? Batteries. Batteries. Yeah, I could probably just do it, honestly. It's probably fine. And then I don't have to go out here, right? Just make it here, yeah. So, um... Yeah, it's French, yeah. Alright, aluminum casings and 20 high-speed connectors. So let's build a little craft bench. Uh, high-speed... Make 13. What am I missing? My wounds, boy! My wounds, boy. It's gonna be cables. It's always cables. <clears throat> Alors après. Then after. There you go. Thank you very much, Rui. MK with the sub. Thank you so much. For three months in advance. Let's go. Yo, thank you so much, MK. Much, much appreciated. Huge. Thank you. I think we're probably around 56 points at this point. Uh, big thank you to everyone, by the way. I think we're actually going to get to the 100 by the end of this month, and then we're actually going to the part of the program, which is crazy. Thanks, everyone. Much appreciated. Uh, actually wild. Uh, how many of these do I need? I need, uh, 70, I think? Yeah. Let's make some of these. Let's go, yo. Yeah, huge, huge, huge. Actually good. I wonder if the Mezostop breaking out game comment is still around in the drone code, maybe. <laughs> Probably. 
Oh, we have what we need. High speed connectors. Wait, what are we missing now? Wait, I used all that quick wire? Are you kidding me? Oh, dude, these connectors are so annoying. Okay. Um, the other thing I needed was aluminum casings, which I can make some of. Meow. I'm a kitty. It is. It's true. I am. It's true. Uh, we have to go back and get some quick wire. That really sucks. But also the drones. Ads! Ads! Ads, ads. Okay, folks. Ad break. Quick ad break. Gonna run some ads. Gotta do them every hour. Blah, blah, blah. Um, see you guys in a couple minutes. Uh, yeah. See you soon. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Think Cosmo has seen. Yeah, Cosmo's having a rough day today. <laughs> okay, let's go get that. Oh, you know what? I should have went and got the quick wire during the, the ad break, actually. Let's get some quick wire. Let's oh get boy. some. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Who is it? What is it? Rans Decca with the Prime. Thank you so much. Much, much appreciated. Thank you. Helps a lot. Helps a lot. Uh, if you're a quick ride during ad break, I'd have called you a treat cheater. True. And I wouldn't be able to live with that. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh, boy! Whoa! Rans DCA just gifted five months of subs to the community on Holy. Twitch. They gifted five subs to the channel. Holy cow. Thank you so much, Rans Deca. Just coming in, sneaking in with your own Prime, and then gifting five subs. Much, much appreciated. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate that. Enjoy your ad-free viewing and emotes. All the people who are lucky enough to get a gifted sub, be sure to thank Rans Deca as well. Very cool. <laughs> I love Pop. Thank you so much, Rans Deca. I really appreciate it. That was very kind. Uh, man, I just got to the plastic slash computer stuff and already feeling lost. This looks amazing. Take it. My only advice is take it one step at a time. If you're feeling lost, don't worry. It's okay. That doesn't mean you can't do it. Just take a step somewhere and you'll get there. You'll get there one little bit at a time. That's all I did because every time I tried to like wrap my head around literally everything, my brain broke. There are videos of me. It's embarrassing, quite frankly. <laughs> But if you just take a step, it starts to make a little more sense and uh, everything becomes okay. So don't worry about it. Just take a step and you'll be fine. Uh, we need cables. We always need cables for some reason. Hey, DJW Mobley. How you doing? Whoa. This is empty? Oh, okay. I'm, in, I'm on the wrong floor. Okay, cool. Gotcha. Uh, I need a workbench going over there. I can just build one here. Because I will need... I need to make two drones, actually. Do I have what I need for two drones? I do. I just need two portable miners. Oh, boy! Holy shit! Plus number, go up. Adam the Useless, thank you very much. Well, was that... I have two now. Okay, great. Uh, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. That's a tier one, so the plus number does indeed go up. Thank you, thank you. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Uh, unfortunately, gifted uh, subs don't count to the plus counter, but they still help. They still help anyway, so always appreciated. But uh, this one from Adam was a, a tier one, so... 19-month streak, by the way, Adam. Holy cow, thank you. Holy shit. Almost like a lot of stuff uses cables. Why? Why? This is solid life advice here. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. As long as you just keep 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 moving, keep trucking. Uh 
Oh, fuck, dude, what am I doing here? Hello to YouTube CPU. Happy to see you, buddy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash jambles. Oh, not this guy again. <laughs> Q and circle above until they can land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think if I... That's why I was thinking that, like, if I have two drones going to the same port, I'm not 100% sure if they actually double the throughput because there may be sort of, like, overhead with the with the landing and stuff like that. But if there's just two, that that might account for itself because eventually their, their landing and takeoff procedures will, like, adjust and align and then they won't overlap anymore, right? But if you have three, they might be overlapping. But if I have three, uh, even if they don't triple the bandwidth, I don't need triple the bandwidth. So, you know, even if all three of them are running at half efficiency, we probably end up getting what we need, is, is what I'm hoping for here. Yeah. But yeah, I do remember them. I remember drones circling over a drone port, but I couldn't remember if that was like, uh, just two drones, or if it was, like, more. Seen Space Trucker. It's not out yet. Looks good. No, I haven't seen Space Trucker. I don't think. Cute little troll sometimes, CPU, yeah. I know you're just kidding around, buddy. I know, I know. Uh, okay, so, cool. Fuck! I don't know if I probably built the drone here. So the second drone I have to put on the other side. Well, I've, unless I put two drones on this side. Because we're going to do this, right? Yeah, fucking high speed connectors, dude. If I make another... If I have to craft one more... Like, apart, after these seven high speed connectors. If I have to craft another one... I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just not. I'm just going to buy it from the awesome shot. I'm just going to buy it. Fuck it. Not doing it. I hate making these. You know what? I will have to make more drone ports eventually, so I think I'm going to have to craft them at some point. I don't know if I have them automated anywhere yet. So, I guess I will be crafting them at some point. Not really much I can do about that. Okay, let's see here. This would be in line. We could do... Th oh, that's the battery input. This is the actual input. Now, these are going to be offset, and now there won't be room for something here. We could move this way over. And just make this work somehow. Can I make this work? This is the input? I think I can. Just this pole kind of sucks. We can fix that. Okay. And if we, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. This is not going to work. This is not going to work. Hmm. I, I can obviously push it back, but then we start losing. I mean, I could push them all back, maybe. Oh. Uh. Jace is my Hercules. It's true. <laughs> we love Jace. Yep. It's true. Guess we move it back. I don't want to move it back, though. Unless I move all of them back. I don't want to move them all back because they're all full of batteries. <laughs> and then I have to... Uh, why? Maybe it is easy to just do this. Get out of... Get out of here! This guy's in the way! Get out! Let me 
let's see this again. Stop it! Yes, yes, run, run, that's right. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> this guy is coming for me. You know what? I think I like this better. I think I like this better. I like this better! Alright, this might have to become the iron one, though. Bring the iron over. God, the OCD is just too strong. That's the problem here. I can't... I, I just... I just can't live... I could just make this copper and then and then life's easy, you know? But it's just not the vision I have in my head. And so instead I'm gonna have to wrestle with positioning this shit on fucking sand. When like that's completely not necessary. Oh yes, good, good, good. How does this look here? This is in line with the center. So it's like here. And we'll have this here like this, I believe. Okay. That kind of like this. Do this. Dun Okay, position just before the ladder. So bring that over there. So then these can go down to here. So it'll do this kind of thing, right? So then this will be so this here. I'm gonna change this one's name to Copper Ore. Copper Ore. Uh. Uh. A. A. And the other one will be Copper Ore B. Copper Orb. And then this one will be. SDA Iron Ore. Okay. <clears throat> um, now the iron ore will need a, a drone on it. For sure. Stop that. Go here instead. Copper will come underneath. We need to get rid of all this. Oh boy, this is gonna be a oh, this is gonna be a bit of a nightmare. Well, uh, I have to change this copper. This this port goes to not iron ore, goes to copper ore there, and then this will slowly fill with copper. Oh oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. It's all falling apart. goes in there, but I need 
this to be a splitter. I don't know if this is going to work. So that would be kind of like this. Are you still here? Relax! I don't think that actually attached. I think it can though. Is it not lined up perfectly? I have a good feeling about this. Is that lining up? No. Because I've had this situation before where if this isn't perfectly in line, then it won't connect. And maybe it's just not perfectly in line. And I thought it wouldn't connect, but then like I readjusted and then it worked. Damn, that kind of sucks. Hmm. How do I do this? I think like there's a way where because what I need is I need this to be kind of like... It needs to be here, but it also needs to be on... On this. It's not attaching. for me to... Oh, I can just do that. Okay, thank fucking god. Alright, cool. That works for me. That's good enough for me. Okay. So I think I have a drone here. This one is set up to go to the copper ore. That's good. And then I have... This one goes to the iron ore. No, it doesn't. Not yet. This port goes to iron ore at Nerd City. Okay, so this should take off. This one goes to copper ore at Nerd City. And this one goes to copper ore at Nerd City. Cool. Uh, the copper is going into here. Correct. And it is going into here. Correct. And then it is going into here. Um, the belt that I used in here, was that MK5? There's no way for me to know now, I guess. But I'm pretty sure I did. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, and then it... Does that mean I'm done here? I think it means I'm done here. Everything has batteries. Batteries go in. Batteries going in. Yeah, I think that's it. We can go to the other place and build another drone. Because I don't think I can build a drone here. No, no. Or he has a drone. Or he has a drone. Yeah, exactly. So I have to go to the other copper uh, port and build a drone there. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, folks, I was really focused there. Hope you guys are doing okay over there. Catching up on chat now. 
Well, actually, maybe I should keep moving. We can jump into the, uh... The, um... Hypertube. One port might be enough or not, depending on the landing and loading time, but sending, you sure need two ports. Yep. Takes care about creatures in the way of industrialization. I know, right? It's probably just something with the tech. Otherwise, they probably wouldn't mind. There are no flying enemies. Just the decorational huge manta ray thing and the little thingies that fly around it, right? I think there's some little things that fly around it. Um... You could create a blueprint with the distance so it 100% snaps to the grid. That's kind of that's kind of a good idea, actually. Rebuild the whole thing one meter higher. <laughs> I'm good. No, I'm good. Uh, it's a bit unsanitary. Jeez, Ben, that's rough. I don't want to dampen the mood, but what are your tips for what to do when you're suddenly ignored by your best friend out of nowhere? I mean, that sounds rough. I guess, um, you know, your only real options are to confront them about it, I guess, and ask, like, hey, is there, is there something, something wrong? And then at that point, it's up to them to share if there is or isn't. Um, yeah. And uh, you never know. Like, maybe they've just got some stuff going on in their life that they don't want to talk about, you know? And they just need to process first. And they'll come around. Um... They gotta do what they gotta do, I guess. But it doesn't feel very good, right? Probably doesn't feel very good for you. That kind of shit. That kind of shit sucks. Okay, copper ore here. We want to make a drum here, but there's already a drum here. Get out of the way! Come on. <clears throat> Chat and keep reaching out to you start a conversation. Yeah, I mean, like, not. I would, I would, you know, obviously, if they if they're not responding, like, give them the space that they need. But like, they could want that space for any number of reasons, I guess. You know. So. Oh wait, hold, hold, hold on though. Okay, this is outgoing. No, this is fine. I was like, isn't this gonna take my copper and take it to the other place? No, of course not. So this one is gonna go. This port goes to. Uh. Either one, right? Either one of the copper ores. Yeah. Oh, but it doesn't have batteries. Shit. You have batteries now. It'll pick up batteries on the other side, right? Yeah, I think it will. You gotta move on. You got a job to do, buddy. Let's go. Chop, chop. Fix it. Fix it. Lacks efficiency. Come on. Okay, so I think we're probably going to be pretty good now. Um, maximum transfer rate 9.95 stacks per minute. And we need 600. Um, or, which is 6 stacks per minute. So now we're pretty good. This incoming transfer rate is still under 600, by the way. But I'm going to assume that that just hasn't taken into account the third uh, drone yet. That's... Um, that is both a logical assumption and uh, a big dose of copium at the same time. Wow, that was really cool. Uh, okay, so I think we're probably, 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 probably done with this part. Let's go take a look at the turbo fuel factory. Let's go on an adventure. Um, I want to double check once again the cause of the issue. Last time, whenever there's issues with the turbo fuel factory, I always know that like when I was building it, I've said this before, People always jump to the fluids. The fluids are the problem. Because fluids are broken in the game. And we had a lot of those conversations while I was building the Turbo Fuel Flat Factory because everything pointed to the fluids are broken. It's because the fluids are broken and we couldn't come to any other reason. But then eventually, every single time, we did find an actual problem that had nothing to do with the fluids. Or not that it had nothing to do with the fluids, but they were behaving correctly, but there was an undiagnosed issue somewhere. But it's just hard to spot, you know? Um, and so it broke my heart a little bit when I saw that the turbo fuel factory wasn't at 100% again. But we did take a look last week, and uh, I don't think it was the fluids. Again, we, we saw that 
there wasn't enough compacted coal coming in for some reason. Uh, the compacted coal machines weren't weren't working. Um, so we need to take a look at that. Copium. Never met her. No. You neither. You going for the copper powder? I needed to make copper powder for uh, the nuclear pasta. Yeah, it really chews through ingots. It's wild. It's actually crazy. But the uh, the footprint is not huge, and that's the thing that I that I uh, I think I prioritized when when picking what to do. I didn't need a lot of buildings. I think I needed like eight foundries with one shard in each, and I was good for for a double nuclear pr uh, pasta production. It only produces 0 0.5 per minute, so doubling that makes one per minute. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I went with that route anyway, and there were a couple nodes that I weren't using. So, welcome to my turbo fuel factory, if you haven't seen it. Here it is. I still haven't made the video that actually shows off uh, all the uh, lighting and the, the decorations that I did. Um, but one of the one reason I haven't done it is because I'm not really sure how to make that video yet. But the other reason I haven't done it is because in the video I want to say, and it's 100% efficient, but if we look at, uh, you know, our power production... It doesn't help that we have a particle accelerator now, but this is this is not a 100% efficient uh, line. Um, yeah. So the issues that we were having was that I think it was this layer, compacted coal. See, so 96% this machine, 84%, 85%. And um, this is always full. This is always empty, which is good. This is never full. Uh, and so it sort of points to that this compacted coal is the issue, is the bottleneck, uh, somehow. So I need to confirm. Uh, once again, I think there's 32 of these refineries doing 30 per minute compacted coal. 32 multiplied by 30. 960 compacted coal I need in. And I think we were getting less than that. And we can check that at the drone ports on the roof. It's so evil. It does have this evil vibe. Absolutely. Very sinister vibe. Look at this. Look at this. Really cool. Super cool, huh? Okay, so we're looking at these drone ports here. 458 per minute. Uh, items per minute. It should be 458 as well. 455. Um, so 458 plus 455. 913. I needed what? 960, right? Right. So the issue is that we're not getting enough compacted coal. So we're doing 913, I think it was, out of 960. Uh, why did that not? 913 out of 960. There we are. Cool. Also, TC, follow, uh, thanks for the follow-up, by the way. That's 20 minutes ago, I missed it, but yeah. It's not fluid dynamics at CSS. It's fluid denial. I'm constantly in denial of fluids. The only times I drink fluids is when people redeem the pasta check and hydrate. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm really thirsty, everyone. Please help. Um, okay. So, in that case... There it is. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cross that Jack. Parched as, bro. <laughs> this, oh, yo, who knows the parched as, bro? Um, meme. Come on, anyone? You got a bucket or a hose? You're you're heaps beached. I'm beached as. Any Southern Hemisphere folks from the early 2000s? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> You have no idea? You have to be from the Southern Hemisphere for that one. You gotta be Australia or New Zealand. I don't think it really made it out. Uh, oh, it might have a little bit, because I ended up like being a cartoon mate of that shit. Anyone? On your own? No one knows? <laughs> shit. You left before it became a thing. Did you hear of it though, Mesa? Uh, no, Ninja, thank you very much for the follow. 
Nope. Oh, jeez. All right. One second. Okay, you guys ready? One second. Let me see here. Just need to make sure I don't like... Display capture is always scary. Okay. Here we go. Oh wait, you guys can see it? Wait, what? What's going on? Wait, what's what's on the screen right now? I'm so confused. Oh, is it this? Oh, okay, I got it. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I'm beached, bro. I'm beached ears. <laughs> hey, bro. Oh, hey, bro. Hey, bro. What are you doing, bro? Dude, I'm beached ears. Oh, shit. Shit. You're beached ears. Tell me something I don't know. Bro, you're heaps beached ears. So beached. I'm beached ears. You want a chip, bro? You want a chip, bro? Is it not chop? Yeah, chip. A potato chop. This one, chip. A chip. I would know, bro, but I don't eat chips. Well, that's shit. No, I only eat plankton. <laughs> eat plankton. Plankton? Can't chew, bro. Try chip, bro. No, I will. I can't chew. Just try chip, bro. You don't understand. I might look, bug, but I can't chew, bro. I only have plankton. That's pretty deceptive. Oh no, it's very misleading. Do you have any plankton? I'm, I'll go and check over here. Do you happen to have a bucket or a hose brew? I need to get wet ASAP. Jimbo's there. Are you pretty parched? <laughs> I'm parched is. And I'm beached brew. You're beached is. Oh no. See if I can find some plankton. Please, have a look around for some plankton. There you go. That's a little bit of a... Uh... Australian YouTube meme, Australian New Zealand uh, YouTube meme history. You've all been, uh, you've all been educated. You've all been educated. That was like 15 years old, Dexat. That Kiwi, yeah. Uh, oh, bro. You got a bucket or a hose? A potato chip? Yeah, there you go. You all learned something today. You're welcome. Any, any, any Australian or New Zealand person who was like watching YouTube in the 2000s, they know this, they know this. And I think they, they even uh, made a cartoon out of it because uh, it got so popular. It was huge. Beach Diz. Us Germans don't know you that was worse. I, I think the, I think the, I think the, the, the maybe the funny part is, I, I don't know if, I don't know if it was actually New Zealand people who were voice acting that. I think it was Australians doing bad New Zealand accents. And so I think if maybe you're an Australian or New Zealand or something, then like it kind of stands out a little more, the point of it. But also it was it like, that was the, that was the, that was the YouTube in the 2000s kind of humor, you know? Like in the recommended down the bottom there, there was Charlie the Unicorn. I mean, that like, that really wasn't that funny either. It was just, ooh, funny voices, right? Charlie, you know, it was the same kind of humor. Yeah. Laughed so hard, my friend fell off. Oh no. 
looked like Korg from Thor movie. Are they a New Zealander? Except I'm not sure how Arizona enters the picture of being beached. Oh, yeah, right. Tech is a New Zealander, right? Yeah, Charlie the Unicorn. It's the same kind of same kind of era of, of uh, comedy, yeah. of YouTube. It's a weird time. It was a weird weird time. Things have changed. <laughs> Beach this, bro. Weeble, yeah. Badger, badger, mushroom, mushroom. Same kind of thing, yeah. Look at my horse sometimes. Yep, exactly. Yep. It was all the same tier. Same same kind of stuff. Yeah. When internet was on CDs. Yo, do you guys remember when Steam became a thing? And everyone was like, What? I'm not downloading my games. Why would I do that when I could just play it off the CD? <laughs> it was that era. Uh. Okay, wait, hold up. 458. Round trip is... 4.82 stacks per minute. One stack is... That's fine. Because I need 960, so this is... This should be fine. 4.82 stacks... Wait, I'm, I'm actually just being gaslit by this game right now. 4... 4.82 stacks per minute. That would mean 480 items. Ah, uh, but the stack may not be full. But the stack must be full. Oh, is it not? Wait, does it take these stacks and then this stack here, even if this stack is not full? Does that happen? But it should be full. It just left. This is absolutely going to fill up. Oh, there's it here. This is this one here. Is it going to take an incomplete stack with it? Yo, when there's full stacks, is that what's going to happen? You're kidding. No, I think I think it's gonna take this this stack before it, this is gonna hit eight two and then it's gonna take it. Oh. No, it filled up. Four point eight two stacks per minute. It transfers that much. I mean, I could just slap more drones down. The solution is to add another drone, um, like one on each one on each of these ports. Okay, I think I sort of get it. Four point eight two stacks per minute, but four point eight two stacks per minute should be four hundred and eighty. Like, obviously there is like the time of it like landing and all that kind of like processing, but like that, should that not be taken into account with the, with this? To four minutes. It takes 900. So, we do have the easy solution of adding another drone. Wait, we have another drone, though. Obviously. Because there's no way it came back already. Oh, shit. This is bad. What about you? 4.79 stacks per minute. Hmm. 
Dude, no way. We're waiting time to unload, but shouldn't that be... Right. It might... Shouldn't that be factored into the round trip time? Travel from this port to the connected port and back. Okay, so that doesn't necessarily, that doesn't take into account the landing time. This will already have a drone on it. Yep. Okay, that's pretty problematic. Um, I could... Hmm... I could... Space for another drone port. You can make another drone port, but it's just getting a little ridiculous at this point. That's the only problem. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! It's the Moomster. It's the Moomster. Thank you very much, Moomy, for the tier one. Nine months. That's a stream, baby, Moomy. Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. Pasta check and hydrate. Thank you very much, Joey. We're not making a train, Simrian. Um, I think we're making another drone for it. That's what we're doing. I was thinking if there's some way I can leverage this drone port, which doesn't really... It's not super utilized. It just brings batteries here. But there's already always like a massive excess of batteries, you know? Um, that's a real bummer. We're so close. Can't we pack a little bit more coal? Just just a little, just a, just a morsel more? Okay, wait, I want to see here. Are you going to take this stack or are you going to take this stack? Oh, it filled up anyway. It doesn't matter. Hmm. Guess I guess it's another drone port. That really sucks. We have to make. We actually have to make more high <laughs> speed connectors. The thing I didn't want to do. The thing I didn't want to do. Oh, we have to make 19. We don't even have enough for 20. We don't even have enough for 20. <laughs> No! Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. We're not going back for quick wire. Uh. Yoink, there we are. That's done. Okay, so in that case Heavy modular frames as well, fuck We're so far away from everything. We have to buy everything. There's no way we're going all the way back Are These on sale or something six coupons hello. I remember when these were you know a, a nickel. Oh my god. Times have changed. Aluminium casings? I don't have what I need for those either. Oh, we're... Jeez. We're gonna be late on rent this month. That's only one, though. It's okay. It's not too bad. Okay, 
that's in line. about that spacing. It's like one square spacing. Let's see here. So here the belt comes in on the square and then there's one whole square. So it should be like the belt comes in on the square one whole square would be here, so the belt would come in here. <laughs> so it would be like that. But then that's not the case, because now it's different. Let's see here. From this side, the belt. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. 22, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this would sort of be the halfway point. But then the belt takes up maybe two notches. So maybe if we do one, um, two. <laughs> maybe like that. Hopefully that will be good enough for my OCD. Uh, a lot of follows here. Uh, pew pew. Thank you very much for the follow. Suze, thank you. And Machine Gun uh, Hund. Thank you. Inflation, man. Yeah, crazy. Time to pick up, and then also take 16 items from the next stack. Oh, that makes sense, CPU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Cool, 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 cool. That makes sense. Oh, no. Each one of these go to a different thing. Fuck. So nice and neat. So this is four uh, four eighty, right? This is supposed to take four eighty per minute. So what I could probably do is have an overflow line. So maybe this one goes into here and then have an overflow line that wraps around and then goes into here. <clears throat> and what I could probably do is if we have something like, um, bearing in mind that the belts don't need to be overflows this way and then if I make another one ah but then they won't merge so I'll just do another one here
put here. And then I could merge them there. So then this middle one will be like the overflow one. <clears throat> it's pretty close. Maybe that's fine though. So if I do something like this. This will this will merge into this here, and this will wrap around to here. So this would be kind of like I think I want that there, and then that would probably work. Yes. kind of thing like this so these are still the, the the two main ones and then this will overflow to the right this will overflow to the left and then the excess when these fill up uh which they should will go into here and then this will sort of slowly fill up a little bit over time and i think spacing wise I'm largely okay with it. I think actually this needs to move forward one. It's because that's one square. Oh god, Jace, let it go. For the love of god, Jace, let it go. I can't. I can't. <laughs> uh. Squares now. This is one and a bit. Here, maybe like this. It's one and a bit. This is probably better. All right, that's it. I I'm, I'm rolling with this. I swear to God. I swear to God. A little bit over one square. A little bit over one square. Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Hey, Paul Special. Uh, long time no see. Yeah, I've been well. How have you been? Um, uh, moments where I wish you could move items, not deconstruct. Yeah, I mean, it would be really nice because then you don't have to like reset things up and all that kind of stuff too. It would be super nice. Super, super nice. is in line with the other thing, right? Yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. So it'll be like here. OK. 
Okay. Let's see, where does their power come from? Stop, Siri. Oh, do I have like... Wait, how hard did I try hard here? Oh my god, I try hard pretty hard, actually. See the wire? You can a little bit. How does this look on these ones? You can still... It's fucking worse here. Alright, so I need to move that over just a little bit. Okay, well, it looks like the other ones. It looks worse, but it looks like the other ones, at least. Been okay, got a new job starting uh, the 16th, making more than I ever have. Nice, congratulations, that's really cool. Thanks for remembering me how to say my name, no worries. It's, uh, it's a name that uh, <laughs> rings a bell. It's been a long time. Uh, with my flashlight, I, I couldn't see very well. I couldn't see very well at all. Drone. I think I need another... Oh, yeah, illuminators, come on, man. Come on, man. Are we getting uh, any in here? We are. Okay, cool. Uh, ad break, folks. Uh, so, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, see you soon. We're back, we're back, we're back. Sorry, that was a really abrupt BRB before. Um, I was hovering my thumb over the stream deck to press the BRB. I was going to be like, see you guys soon. But then my thumb accidentally pressed it. I was like, ah, well, I guess we'll go ahead. <laughs> Um, Jace, is your Siri set to Australian voice? It's set to a British voice, actually. Hey Siri, tell me a joke. Why are kangaroos bad at sports? Because when they get tired, they run out of bounds. Ass works. Should work. Should work. Yeah, should work. It's probably just on, uh, it's probably just on, uh, cooldown. If this, if it was Australian, then there'd be no way to tell if this is satisfactory or foundry. Uh, is that made by Australians or something? I don't get it. Noise, yeah. Good morning, Sophie. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Okay, so what are we doing? What are we doing here? What are we doing? What are we doing? One thing I'm a little concerned of right now is that the overflow kind of trickles down pretty slowly and I wonder if I wonder if that's not a good thing. I wonder if it's better to more evenly distribute these. You know, because then I might have like a drone that sends 30 compacted coal over. But maybe it's better It, you know, it wastes a whole trip to do like 30 compacted. It's like, but I mean, that is, that is what we make an entire drone port for. Like, that's kind of it. What is better here? Um, like I could, I could, instead of having these be smart splitters. What if they're just splitters? 
So like half of all the coal I make goes in here. A quarter goes here, a quarter goes there. What difference does that really make? I'm trying to figure that out. I think at the end of the day, as long as just the throughput is there, I guess it doesn't make a difference because we're still running the same number of drones. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Probably doesn't matter. But even at the drone transport levels, yeah, but like, does that matter? Probably not. This one to three. <sighs> and then which port does it go to? Does it does that matter? Should I evenly distribute the overflow? Vamanos! Which means I'll need to make one more drone port, which means we'll make more high-speed connectors, but I already bought some, so we're good. Um, I think it's probably fine. I think it's probably fine. Yeah, I think it's probably fine. One thing that's probably worth checking is to make sure that actually these buildings are running at 100%. This one is. Looks like they are. If they weren't, they would. They'd, they'd have an issue here somewhere. But it looks like they're all running at 100%. So that's very important. So we are producing the right amount of coal. It's just the throughput. Just woke up and your brain is mush. I know those feelings. Uh, a joke you made in your video about Foundry being similar to Satisfactory. Oh, I see, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely overlaps there for sure. Uh, as the other one would fill up and the other, and one couldn't get backed up. But then it's okay if it gets backed up, because then the excess makes it here anyway, and it gets delivered anyway. Yeah, I think uh, I think we'll leave it as it is, and then we'll, we'll sort of see how that works out. Put three drones on each port. I can't put three drones. Um. <laughs> I could, like, I, I could have, well, I could have made this drone port on the receiving side and added one more drone. It doesn't really work with this because these, this and this, they're actually independent. The two independent lines as well. And I don't actually know, I can't remember what knock-on effect that would have in the turbo fuel factory. I don't know if those two lines come back together or not. This way is kind of nice because I can just take the overflow, bring them over there, and then split them up evenly and feed them back into each line. And I think that that works out fairly well. And I only need one drone. I don't need two more drones. One drone will be enough to do that. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Mm. 
Make an MK5 belt. I don't think I need an MK5 belt. I don't know if that helps. Pause check and hydrate. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. I mean, I could run a belt all the way across, but um, that's not what I'm doing. I'm using drones. Uh, okay. In that case, I think we're done here. Let me think. Drone port has batteries going in. It has a drone on it. It just needs a receiving drone port. And I think we're good. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. All right, sit back, Jace. Posture. I wonder if there's actually any hope for my posture. Can my posture actually improve? You know, I've done like exercises and stuff. Got like a foam roller and shit. I don't know. At the end of the day, I sit at my PC a lot anyway, and I work a bunch. Actually, at my friend's office where I've been working from a, a, a bunch the past week, a uh, couple weeks, I have a standing desk there. So I tried standing, doing standing desk, but um, which has been probably good for me. But sometimes I find myself leaning on the desk, and I and I catch myself, and I'm like, no, stand up. And then I find myself leaning too much on one leg. I'm like, no, stand up straight. <laughs> Post posture checking myself. Better chair. I mean, this chair is a very good chair. This is a pretty good chair. It's just... There's not much a chair can do if I keep leaning forward. <laughs> yeah. Slow the decline, not reverse it, really. Is there not really ex uh, exercises you can do to strengthen certain muscles or habits you can get into? Never gotten this far into satisfactory, only to tier three because all my factories are 100% efficient. Nice. Whoa. Kitty cat. Let's see. I need to make one drone port. I think I have what I need for that, but we'll check that before we go back to the turbo fuel factory. This kind of sucks because we have to double back to go back there. But, yeah. Uh, drone port. Looks like we have everything we need. <sighs> there are mates with fake bumps to stand on. Oh, mats with uh, fake bumps. Right. To make you change position. Interesting. Right. Isn't it good to, to, to do different positions, right? That's the, the right thing to do. Look at this. I'm gorgeous. Um, quick call. It's not as nice. Yeah, I mean, um, I think if you, if you just, if you just like, if you, if, if you just start building stuff, you know, eventually you'll just end up with cool shit. Like, uh, this turbo fuel factory was fucking insane. <laughs> Okay, this was the most insane build, and I, it taught me a lesson. The lesson it taught me was, never plan something this big ever again. It's <laughs> satisfactory. Just don't do it. Um, and so now I just kind of just chill a little bit, and I kind of make it up as I go as much as I can. And it actually works out really well. I end up with, like, decent-looking factories and, you know. Okay, so here I could put, see, I could put this, over, this overflow one right here, right in the middle. Look at that. That's snug. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Jeez. Okay, and then like this here, there could be a merger here, you know? And then a merger there. And then a splitter here. I think that's right. Okay, four. Yeah, that's right. Oh god, this is terrifying.
No, 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 wrong one. Go to income. Okay. Do this kind of thing. So this is. Oh, okay, so this would be three then. Because three goes to here. And then this would be two. So you, this port goes to compactical output three, correct. And this one would go to compacted call output two. Uh, and then it needs power. Here are your power cables. Looks like it's from underneath. with that just need to just need to find find the other the other power uh here i guess I saw some extra coal go through. No, I guess I didn't. No drone, that's fine. So this should be it, right? It should be it. It should be it. We should have a drone incoming for this. Thank you very much for the follow. Also, miss some follows uh, from Chinobins. Oh, I just missed Chilobin. Uh, Chinobin. There's another follow, though. Willy Williker, which is going to come in now. Right now. Three, two, one, go. And now. And now. Here it comes. Here it... Never mind. I guess not. Building a turbo fuel factory with all processing on site and after like 20 hours of filling with foundations and bucket. Yeah, it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. Maybe that's why I don't have a terrible back yet. My ADC makes me change posture a lot. Oh, there you go. Core strength might help, I suppose, to get less fatigued. And keep a better posture longer. Yeah, I think so. I think a very supportive chair is more important than posture. But I think if your posture is, like, if you have a, a chair that's supportive, you have to still sit into it, you know? But if you, like, if, if I lean forward, if this is like my, how I sit, there is no chair <laughs> that can support my back, right? Like, I have to sit back on the chair. Like, this chair is supportive when I sit back on it. It's like, you know, but it's that I'm so used to leaning forward. Right? Or? I don't know. I just listen to hype music that makes me dance. Nice, good one. Alright, so I haven't seen... I haven't seen shit come through here. And that's concerning. Um, compacted coal output 2. No port. Here we go. 
come here that's why this port so wait this should this should be nothing but this one comes here okay now we're good now we're gonna have it come along my last have a satisfactory you have 64 nuke reactors at 100 percent 42 with uranium rods and 22 of them plutonium rods nice and all started with uranium mines on map cool that's crazy i, I haven't done uh, nuclear power yet but i think that's my goals for satisfactory i think will be fix this um uh get all the parts into the space elevator and do some nuclear power i think that's what i would like to do and then like i'm kind of done i think to me that's like i finished the game you know so can you imagine streaming your own game one day when it's done nope no i don't think i would uh maybe like a developer commentary thing or something but that's it oh, 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 what's this hey this is pretty nice it's green here as much as i dislike the color green Request an accent. How would the accent of a running potato? That sounds like a whale. Potato that sounds like a whale? Holy shit, look, wait, wait, hang on, look at this, look at this. You guys seen this? Look at this. Come on, you got this, you got this. I need to see the coal go both ways. There they go. Yes, yes, very good, yes. Okay. This is probably gonna be fine then, uh, but I don't think we can really, <laughs> we can't wait for this to stabilize. This is something that needs to go. We can go and check up on the copper ore though and see if um, that seems to have fixed itself. But the accent of a running potato that sounds like a whale. All right. Jesus, this is a rough one. Howdy, partner. My name's Jason. I'm a potato. I grew up in the ground. I'm running away, transforming it away. Woo! One second. Vominals! Boom. There it is. Holy potato whale. Incredible. Unbelievable. Ooh, look at that. It's a really good emote for that. Uh, stretch feet frequently. The best posture is in the next one. I heard that. I heard that before. Um. To fix seatbelts, Jason's chair. You know what? I've actually tried it. I've like makeshift some shit to keep my like shoulders and back back. That was like, yeah, and I was like, I couldn't really do it in a comfortable way. Do you guys get stiff and change position in a chair a lot naturally or no? No, I don't. I don't really. Exercise and strengthen your back muscles, yeah. One day I'm gonna get 99k to give Jason advice. You know what? We've ne never had it before, but today we had two people do it, Paul Special. Very good, thank you very much. This stupid question, why does everyone at Coffee Stain sound like they have American accents? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they... I don't know if they, they do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if they do. Um, it could be that the English that they learned, right, because not everyone like, there's a lot of Swedes, there's Dutch people, there's Mexican people, there's Indian people, there's Russian people, you know? Um, and to me, they all have those accents. Um, but the English that I think, I can't think of, or at least no one's coming to mind right now, of anyone who's like learned a British English like accent. And so it's probably just that when they learned English, they learned American English people I've seen at the public face. 
Um, coincidence, I guess. Yeah, I think a lot of folks have probably learned English through American media, I guess. Sweden does have a slight obsession with the U.S. I mean, a lot of places do. Uh, also, also, just like, it's just, it's just a lot of media comes out of the U.S. So, like, if, if you're learning English, or if your exposure to English is like movies and stuff, you're just gonna hear a lot of like uh, American English. It's just how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, I mean, there's a. I have one friend that I can think of who. Um, she has a, a British English accent, but she's Swedish. But um, she had learned that from from a British person, so basically. I have another friend who is Norwegian, and um, they've got British English as well because they lived in UK for a while. It's just where they where they learn the language, I think. Me watching Downton Abbey, yeah. It just depends, yeah. I feel like there was something that I missed from chat. Oh, the streaming my own game. Yeah, right. No, 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 right. That's the thing. Um, no, I wouldn't stream my own game. Absolutely not. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe as like a developer commentary thing. But there's no way I would stream my game. That's not a good idea. Cartoon uh, Network and Blinky Bill. There you go. But Mezzi, you've got a British English accent, right? Um, you also... Reactions to speedruns, maybe, yeah. That could be fun. So all the TV is subtitled. Yeah. Yeah, so they, they get a lot. They, yeah. I was even at the uh, doctor's office the other day. And they just had like just on the TV that was there, like some American show, I can't remember which one it was, and it said Swedish sub subtitles. And it's just normal to have like, this language that's not the national <laughs> language just on TV in the doctor's office. And everyone's just like, mm, yeah, okay. I mean, everyone understands it, you know. There's also Swedish subtitles if they need it. Because uh, that you were born in the US. I mean, there's there's only like one American person at um that I that I that I know of at Coffee Stain. There's only one person from the US. Um yeah. And it's 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 none of the public facing people either. Uh they they have been in videos but yeah. So they don't they don't necessarily hire from the US. Um copper copper copper. Let's go take a look. I got a mixture of Aussie, Brit, American. Yeah, mine's kind of all over the place as well. Can't keep it consistent, same. Depends on the people you're surrounded by. Yeah, I get that. I don't know what my accent is. Like, I don't speak, often speak it. Mostly type or listen. Right, right. Uh, I took the slow way. So our drones should be bringing 600 copper ore now. And our foundries, by now, they should have become saturated and stuff. And we sh they should be at 100%. And if they are, then the particle accelerator will be 100%. Uh, this is iron. 601 items per minute, let's go! 601! We needed 600! Let's fucking go! Oh, boy! Well, well, well. Look who it is. Oh. If it isn't the most handsome man in Sweden. Oh my god, and the most handsome man in Norway has resubbed again for 58 months. Hello, Marius. How you doing, man? All right, 93%. I assume that these are working their way up to 
but because we only have an excess of one ore, there it's taken a while for him to uh, fully saturate. But they're probably running at 100%. I would I would assume, and this is probably getting very close to 100% as well. Yeah. Yep. I I'm I'm convinced. I'm convinced that this is all working fine. I could, when this finishes like a pasta, turn it off and on, I guess, to reset the uh, percentage. And then I, it would be easier to see if it's running at the right amount or not. But I don't know. I mean, look at this. Like, this is nearly done and we're at 300 powder. I get the feeling we're okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. I think we're definitely okay here. Let's look at that. Oh boy! Uh, oh, by the way, that's wait. That is also. Jeez, uh, I forgot to update. Fifty nine. I keep forgetting these. And Joey Two Thumbs, thank you so much for the sub. So that's another plus point as well. So that's two. One from Marius, one from Joey. Much appreciated, folks. Sixty out of a hundred. Holy cow! Holy cow! That's crazy. Actually, crazy. Thank you, everyone. Much appreciated. Thanks so much. How goes it? Everything satisfactory? Everything going s swimmingly? Uh, I think. It looks like the uh, nuclear pasta is now working as it should. Turbo fuel co compacted coal is probably fine, but there's no way to check right now. We need to let it sit for a little. Let it stew. Now, one thing that I wanted to do is find a way to fix the aluminium casings. We can look at some recipes. I mean, this part is going to be a pain in the ass, and I think it's going to be awful for y'all watching this streaming stream. Um, I need to come up with some additional casings somehow. Maybe if they fall off the back of a truck or something. Uh, repeatedly and consistently at a certain rate per minute. Then maybe we're good. Um, hmm. Hmm. I need to calculate uh, how many casings were short, and then I need to find a way to make up the difference. But we can also maybe say that this is probably done. The other thing I wanted to look into real quick was nuclear. So nuclear power plants, this is whatever. Nuclear fuel rods and water. Well, can actually finally use these for something. I have an entire massive factory making these. That's nice. What numbers are we looking at here? Hardly anything. 0 0.4. How much does the... Does it say? Um, how much it uses? Jeez. That's a process. This doesn't seem too bad, though. Like, I think I can make it go, get it up and running. I think, I like, when I do nuclear, I don't think I'm going to do anything fancy. I think I'm just going to get, like, one nuclear power plant up and running. I have so much power from the tu turbo fuel, and I don't, you know, I got nothing to prove, man. I don't, I don't need to make a whole bunch of nuclear shit. But what I would like to do is I would like to have, if I can, my goal is to do the the plutonium. I would like to do that. Holy shit. Maybe after the the um, space elevator parts are done and I don't need these heat sinks. Maybe, maybe I make enough. How many? 2.5 per minute? I probably make enough. And these take the encased plutonium cells. They use... Oh boy. Oh boy. 
<laughs> All right, I take it back. This sounds like a fucking pain in the ass, dude. 37.5 waste per minute. How much does one nuclear power plant create? How much waste? <laughs> I'm looking up on the wiki. Ten, ten waste per minute. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, we're not doing that now. I'm just curious about it. Right now, we need to do the aluminium thing. Yeah, this uh, plutonium thing looks uh, some shit. That's some shit. Holy cannoli. <clears throat> Catch up in chats. I got a mixture. Uh, yep. Uh, started learning from translating one of the greatest hits of the decade CDs, then games and teaching my classmates because my English teacher was a mess. Oh no. Yeah, we did have we did have Dylan on some stuff, but he he's not like regularly uh, oh, public boy. facing. Well, I say we they well we when I was there. Um, old potato with a sub with a prime. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Uh, my influence to how I write speak English was first from UK TV since at the time it was the only English channel we could get. Right, that was my English teacher who was originally from UK but came to Belgium. Okay, so you probably have a British English accent then, Ruri? Never left the US, so don't mean to. Uh, it's fine. It's totally fine, dog. Feel free to ask. I don't. I don't think it's being ignorant. You're curious. It's okay to ask. Um, 100 million speakers across several countries, which is why people there get a lot of dub content. I see. So a strong accent is a lot more common. I see. Um, you can't swim in this game. Yo, I can swim. Hang on a second. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Joey with the tier one. Hang on a second. Wait. Did anyone point this out? No? Joey, that was six months in advance. Holy shit. Thank you, Joey. Thank you so much. I just noticed now. My bad. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Poggies. Absolute poggies. Wow. Uh, Sep, hi Jumbos, hope all is good. Sally, I'm not uh, in chat to stick around today. I'm sorry, but uh, it's in your stream to test Twitch chat to find out if I press enter, will it send the message or skip the next line? Okay. But while I'm here, I just want to say first time in your stream and just want to say I love all you're doing for Satisfactory. I know you th through a Kibbit stream. Okay. But I'm uh, out again. Only to chat test. Okay. No worries. Take care. Stopping by. Uh, that's fine, plus special. Do do what you can. Do what you want. Do what you can. No pressure. No need to sub either if you don't want to. We're all chilling. We're all vibing. Is this fully charged. It is. Let's go. No obligations to sub or anything to watch the stream. I'm just happy to chill and vibe with folks. Always fun. Oh boy. Oh boy. Marius <laughs> works just gifted Pospisil a sub on Twitch. There you They've go. Gifted 104 subs to the channel. Yo, you give the 104 subs, Marius? Yeah, Jesus. Thank you, Marius. Thank you. Uh, much, much appreciated, Marius. Thank you. Enjoy your sub, plus vessel. Uh, okay, so here, I think the only thing is that we turned off this blender. Uh, because it took 20 aluminium casing. So what I would like to do is I would like to turn it back on. But in order to do that, we need to create 20 more aluminum casings. Uh, there was, when the magnetic field thingy is up, then there'll be an excess of five if I stop producing them, but I might just keep producing them and sinking them. 
Um, but it would be better to somehow get 20 al aluminum casings into the system somehow. Uh, how the fuck? They're made from ingots. Yeah, jeez, aluminum is such a pain in the ass. It's like you can't you can't even just you can't even just overclock one thing, you know? It, it, one does not simply overclock to improve aluminium. So ingots, uh, aluminium ingots, let's see, is there some way that we can I only have one recipe, that's fantastic. Um, is there uh, casings? I only have one recipe, that's fantastic. Okay, so hands are tied there. <laughs> Uh, okay, if we're gonna make, okay, we have to, I have to make some notes here. Gonna have to open a notepad. Actually, I'm gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna do a quick one minute break, because I need to use the bathroom real quick. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna continue. Okay, see you guys in just a moment. Okay, see you soon. <clears throat> Does anyone have split accents and go back and forth because of going back and forth between multiple households? Oh, interesting. Maybe. My accent is kind of confused sometimes. But that's not necessarily because of different households. I mean, I know that, like, uh, when I go back to Australia and be around friends, my accent shifts a little bit to be more Australian. I get, uh, get influenced by it. Okay, so if I need to make 20 aluminium casings, Uh, 20. We need 30 for 20 aluminium casings. We need 30... 30 aluminium ingots. Per minute. So for 30 aluminium ingots, we need 45 scrap and 37.5 silica. Uh, this is, we probably just have the silica, so it's probably fine. For 45 scrap, what are we using here? Oh, we're probably using the, um, probably using coal. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. This, though, this is some shit. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Could I put... How much solution are we making? 120... 240, 360, 480. We could, in theory, add one more refinery. If we add one more refinery, MK2 things will be okay. Um, then we'll have 600 al alumina solution. And then, wait, how much scrap? We're using coal. Okay, or we could just add 30 alumina solution to the system, which is also fine. Thirty alumina solution. Fifteen call. Fifteen 
15 water as well, which needs to be accounted for. So where does the water go right now? The water goes here and around. How much does this put out? 120, 240. So it would fit, it would fit in here. And then it would go around. And then we're, we're chill. This fucking belt, yo. That's some shit. Um, and then 15 more water would be added to the system. How much water is needed to make the Illumina solution? Well, we're using this. And water. Shit, which one are we using? 120, 180, 120, 180, okay. So this would make 30 aluminum solution. So this needs 45 water. But then minus 15 from recycling. So it needs 30 water. But then it also needs 30 bauxite. And then if I do all of that, that's the scary part, the part with the fluids, because that's the part can, that can really fuck things up. But like, I mean, we have we have space for all this. You know, we could we could do all that. Then the tricky part is what makes the ingots. Uh, I could make it really, really, really simple, um, and have this extra refinery that I'm going to build. There is no space. There's no space. Uh, I could maybe, you know, squeeze in like one thing here and like, or like here maybe, uh, or like this. Oh, that's interesting. And then we just feed in a little bit of extra ingots because like we, we're not producing so many ingots here. Okay, but if we were to do that... Hang on a second. Why are these backed up? 60? Where are these other ingots going? Oh, right, because these ingots need to go over here. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. So they need to back up a little bit. Um, and well, <laughs> it, but in that case, if we, if we make a few more ingots, I could overclock one of these to use just a little bit more, and then we would produce the... Hey, we actually may have a puff way here. This actually might work. Uh, the last thing to check is the silica, the coal. I think we're 1 million percent going to be fine with the coal. Um, the silica is probably okay as well. Where the fuck does the silica come from? Okay, the silica is actually a little bit sparse. Not that okay with that. Um, oh no. <laughs> we can maybe we can maybe overclock a little to produce more. I think we have an excess of these in order to do that. Okay, there's a, there's a way. Uh, wait. What did I miss here? Oh, did you gift uh, another sub, Marius, to Calistrid? Thank you very much, Marius. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, and also, Richie, with the follow. Thank you. The code switched my whole life. It's a big thing. Interesting. to mimic people around with accents in your own language. 
Very easily influenced by accents. Oh, I see. Doesn't like Norway. Norway has like two Norwegians. Two Norwegian languages, right? I have a Norwegian friend of mine who's always like frustrated at that fact. <laughs> it's like Norwegian and there's like Ninosk or something like that. Uh, got mannerisms from around the country as I moved a bit growing up that I used without noticing and lost them too. Every province, it seems, has a way of speaking that's just different enough to be able to tell where someone comes from and there's accents too. I love accents. Accents are fun. Are you going to bounce? Catch you later, Marius. Oh, man, I must, must have missed my thanks then. But, uh, thanks, Marius. See you later. By the way, just a shout out to Marius, by the way. Jeez, I, I'm in old caps right now. Shout out, Marius works. Uh, Marius does, like, live dev stuff. Uh, cool dude. Big, uh, long-time supporter of the channel. <coughs> and that's Marius's dad, by the way. This is Marius Jr. That's Marius Sr. If you can't build out, build up. Yeah, that's one, one option. Still no lifts in the game yet, I see. No, not yet. Imagine lifts being, uh, big enough to ferry the vehicles up and down. A lot of people asked for that. I mean, how many English accents are there? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You just change, you cross the street in the UK, right? <laughs> it's like a different accent. So if we, if we kind of do something like this. Oh shit, this silica will have to come through as well a little bit somehow, fuck. It's a bit of a mess, not gonna lie. A bit of a mess. But I think we can make it work. Okay, I think this will have to move over a little bit. Actually, don't mind it too much. Because, it, it, I mean, it is kind of a different line, so... So this would be kind of like this. Um, we would need bit of this action, I suppose. This would have to be a, a, a splitter, I guess. This here would be uh, aluminium ingots, but it is 30 aluminium ingots, so that would be like that. Um, scary. It's not that bad. Actually, not that bad. And this would be like this, and then I would plug that in. I guess we can just plug that in. And then this would be this here, but it would be 45 scrap. shit here we have to move over a bit but what is happening exactly we would have we 
it we're producing some silica here. Fuck. Oh shit. Hang on a second. There's something funky happening with the silica. We have a silica byproduct, but also silica production. Okay, so in that case then, what uses the silica? I forget. This does. This uses 37.5 silica. Cool. But then if I do this, right? Which is the alumina solution. It's this one here. And the amount of alumina solution is going to be 30. So we have 12.5 alumina solution. 12.5 plus 12.5 uh, silica, which means we can minus 12.5 silica from recycling. So that would be uh, 25 silica total. You guys feeling this music? You guys ready? Let's go. Oh, wait. Hang on. No, wait. Wait. There it is. No, wait. Wrong face. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's do this properly. There we go. Oh my god, the music is so good! Ah! Jamming! Raw! Yeah! Good job, everyone! Good job! <laughs> Good one, good one, good one. Meep mop. Okay. So I don't really know why I have this kind of weird ass design here, but I think that this will probably end up changing because if we bring the coal over here instead, right, because we'll have like big ass this thing will be like here okay okay it's it's up right now um, but just for blocking out purposes we'll keep it there um, this power pole What the f What the fuck? What the Holy cannoli! All right, where do where do we where do we put you exactly? Uh, problem hole. Okay. Put you here, maybe. Uh, so wait, what are you powering? You're powering this, and then you can power this. Okay. But what the fuck is the point of this? Oh, oh, oh! Right, it's sending power to here. Okay, I understand. I don't like it doing that there. I think. I think I would prefer maybe doing something like this instead. Then we don't need this anymore. Um, 
This power switch is fine. But I think this could maybe go here instead. Oh boy. Wait, 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 what were you connected to? What were you connected to? You connected to this? There we are. Oh no. Oh boy! Oh boy. Who was that? Surrender9, thank you very much for the tier 1 sub. Much appreciated. And uh, that actually also gives us another plus program counterpoint. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Helps a lot. Ad break starting soon, folks. It'll be a shorter ad break. Should be because we did a we did a short break before. Better be, or else. It's kind of cool. And kiss. Damn. That's okay. Probably delete this refinery and rebuild it, and it'll be flat. These are outputs, these are inputs. It's in line, that's in line. Sick. This can go, this can go. Have to make sure that I'm making the right amount, which is 30 solution. All right, ads have started, I think, folks. Yep. All right, see you guys in two minutes. Not too long. See you soon. Uh, I see that, Balancia. I'll do the post check and hydrate when I get ads. right back. All right, see you guys in a moment. Bye. Ads, 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 ads. Uh, see you soon. We're back. We're back from the ad break. All right, posture check and hydrate. Posture is better now. Hydrated. Thank you very much, Balancia. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Wait, hold on. Surrender 9. Oh my god, again. That wasn't just a tier 1. That was six months in advance. Yo, thank you so much. I, I keep missing the, uh, the the subs that are in advance. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Much, much appreciated. Oh dear, look at this. Oh dear. Ass, ass. Okay, let's see here. Playing with fire a little bit. power the machine just yet. Well, I'm not inputting anything, so I probably can.
We're making 30, right? 30 alumina solution. That's what it will do. This here, this situation here, is a little jank. We're gonna have to... Oh. Why do I even bring it down? Maybe I should just keep it up. This isn't perfectly in line. That kind of sucks. Mm, no, it really couldn't be either. Okay, we'll do this. We'll do this situation here. It's it's a little it's a little unconventional. No, oh, that's kind of frustrating. a little frustrating. Well, you know what? I think it just is what it is. So if this is here like that, what does this look like? It's a little dank, not gonna lie. I think maybe we should keep this up instead. Do this. Uh, we split. Like that. This is scary. This is a bit scary. Um, we'll need to... We'll need to vomit us. That's what we're going to have to do. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay. Okay, so we still need to make an additional 25 silica as well. So I'll have to plug in... We ha I haven't checked bauxite yet, actually. How much bauxite are we using? Does this ever... slow down? Oh no. One twenty... Two forty... 480 bauxite. Okay, that's a little rough. That's a little rough. Hey, Anaruma. How you doing? It's not a line. It's time to start over. Delete it all. Jace, is it a challenge in game design to make it so that any arrangement of things ends up looking really cool? Or is it a thing where you just have good asset art that complements each other? Things will naturally always come together like that. Um, I think it depends. Do, do you mean like if if people make stuff that it come that it looks good, or do you mean like, I mean, I, I'm not really an artist. Oh no, you're fucking kidding me! Oh shit! Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No! Absolutely not.
That's a big no right there. Can I make it lower? That's rough. That's real rough. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. My wounds, boy. I mean, I think this is probably the least bad out of all of it, but I don't really know what this the knock on effects of having this lower is going to look like. That's really unfortunate. That's, uh. Yeah, that sucks. See nothing, carry on, yeah. Uh, but I don't know, like, uh, I think with, like, uh,. I'm not, yeah, like, I'm not really an artist, and I, I, I don't really know how to sort of, like, put together good art design, but, um, there are, there are ways to make things sort of, like, complement each other and look like they belong together. Um, and how to make things, like, distinguish themselves from others, other things as well at the same time. So it's probably, like, a, a mixture of all those kind of things. What's my most anticipated game of 2024? It's probably... Probably happened. It's probably the Yakuza game that I just finished playing. That was, um... That was really good. It's pretty good. Definitely, um, one of the best, uh, entries into the series for... For quite some time. Which is, um... Like a dra it was Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. It was very good. The previous Like a Dragon game was, uh... I think one of the worst ones in the entire series. But that one was by far like maybe top three. It was really good. Really, really, really good. I guess the only thing, other thing is I can put it back here, right? Hmm. ba na ma ba na ma Let's find a home for this. <gasps> Maybe? This could go in between the call? Doesn't clip. It's not perfectly lined up, but I think it's okay. New home. And then over here, we could have, um, <laughs> we put like a splitter, right?
<laughs> we might have to move our little a little uh <laughs> power pole friend back here i'm not sure yet comes through oh yeah 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 and then we'll have a junction maybe like this it would be like that but this has to move over Clipping. Mm, what else can I do here? Is there another way I can? Can I? Looks like that's not possible. Why is everything gonna be so fucking hard, man? I guess I make it hard for myself. That's the answer. The other thing I could do is I can move this back. Let me take a step back and take a look at this real quick. Because where's the box I can... Because the box I has to come into here, actually. Ah, shit. Which means this has to go even further back. box site will come in here. Oh, what if we do this? Just have some aesthetic kind of This here like that. Looks like it's holding it up. It's not really though. Except that's the worst place to put it because the uh, the box that has to come in here. But something like this could be okay maybe. Maybe it's like this. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, does this actually fit here? 
Oh, it does. That's sick. So then the box that would come down through here. Oh boy. Like this. This changes. Yep. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's going through. We can see it goes through. That's good. We're not clipping anything here. Maybe these could even move back a little bit. Could even put them here like this. And then actually connect the coal. Like that. Not bad, not bad. We're gaming, we're gaming. Uh, okay, so then the water will come through here instead. We gotta make sure we don't turn this machine on, whatever we do, because we don't have the bauxite for it yet. This goes here, through, and then we should be good. Ish. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Can't select the support. Okay, okay, okay. This is pretty nice. This is pretty nice. Okay, the coal comes through. Some goes here. Good. Uh, we need fluids to go over here as well. How does this work again? Um, oh, that was this one before. But now this is going to be here. Because this is the fluid output. Everything goes into these three things, right? Look at that, straight line, really nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hey, this is coming together. Folks, this is coming together, that's right. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. Everyone in chat's like, we weren't gonna do anything about it, Chase. <laughs> we weren't gonna do anything. We're actually rooting for you, man. No! Chat, what did you do? <laughs> Oh, okay, well, holy crap. I haven't looked at the chat for a long time. Positron, thank you very much for the follow. Also, uh, Positron Jacket Hydra from Avi. <laughs> we supposed to be doing something, chat? <laughs> yeah, uh, accent, waffle accent. All right, here we go. Uh, Howdy, partner. My name's Jason. I was born and raised in batter. That's right. I'm a waffle. I'm tasty. Vominos. Uh, ain't no pancake. That's right. Mm. There you go. Waffle accent. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> you don't see anything wrong. I see something very wrong. I fixed the chat. <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm going to delete this fucking coal line. No! Wait, what's up here? Wait, 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 what's... Oh, I remember because... Oh, yeah, these have to move over a little bit. Fuck. Well, we're deleting it one more time. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, this should be straight. No, wait, wrong way. Hello? Okay, something is lying to me. Something is lying to me. Something is lying. So annoying. There. Reverse the... Okay, that is straight. Okay, that is actually correct this time. Okay, finally. Okay. Perfect. Amazing. Wonderful. Uh, this is all good. The two things left to do is I need to increase silica production a little bit, and I also need to make sure that I've got enough bauxite coming through. We currently have 480 going going in. Um, oh wait, also this power pole needs to change position. the rock. Vamanos! Vamanos. <clears throat> okay, so what we need right now is another 25. You're me a fuckle. I am. Uh, another 30 bauxite. But our belt doesn't support that, so we need these to be MK5 belts. Wait, hang on a second. Here, this is a bauxite belt. This belt needs to be MK5. And then from this point on, it can be MK4, that's fine. The here needs to be MK5. And then I'll have to see what what miner is feeding feeding into this. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, Yo, yes, 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 Jimmy yes. Boss Rabbit, how you doing, buddy? How's it going, mate? How you doing? What you doing? Yeah, exactly. How you doing, man? 
Good to see you here, dude. Good to see you here. Was Shaggy Test commands without being disruptive? It's okay. It's okay. You can be disruptive. That's what they're. That's what they're there for. You can use the commands. Go for it. It's no worries. Something something bisexual joke something. Yeah. Were we talking about the straight straight conveyor belts before or something? Just hanging. I should be in bed. Yeah, it's late for you. No. It's late. I, uh, I saw you, uh, well, you were streaming, I think today, I saw that you were on. But, uh, I was, uh, busy setting up stuff before my stream, so I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't lurk today, unfortunately. Shout out to, uh, Jimmy Boss Rabbit, actually, uh, an old, um, an old, old friend of mine. Who recently started streaming, so if you want to support a new streamer, check him out. Uh, I can't reach this other... Yo, are you kidding me? Wait, we have a jetpack. With a lot of turbo fuel in it. Easy We're good. 12 million Easy. views. <laughs> True. <laughs> that was a very good time. Easy 12 million views. Good one. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see here. <laughs> Shout out, he's bro. Yeah, dude, 1 a.m. Damn, struggling to sleep. Oh, you know what? You can listen to my chocolatey smooth voice. That's right. That's right. Creamy voice to lull you to sleep. That's it. Don't say creamy again, all right? Dave is my Hercules. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> I love Dave. <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot. I was worried. Oh, I'm using the, the turbo fuel. The jetpack now. I thought I, I forgot that I switched already. Uh, this better still be the right block site, uh, chain. I think it is. I hear cats, so that's kind of scary. Ah, oh, no more sheets. Good thing that they're close by. <laughs> Chocolate bars. What? I'll put you in my coffee. No, no. Please don't. I don't want to be slurped up. All right. We just need aluminium sheets. We should have. We should have a bunch over here somewhere. Unless they're all being used. Uh, wait. Do we have aluminium sheets? <laughs> yeah, we have a bunch. Get rid of this shit. Get rid of this shit. Get out of here. 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 At least it isn't what y'all use the worst words now. What the hell? None of that. <laughs> Moist, creamy. No, come on. Everyone here knows that my streams are always family friendly, all right? It's only the most family friendly content on the internet, and I don't want to see anyone posting clips. Do you still love puns? Uh, I love banning people for puns, yeah. I love it. I love it when people, uh, they give me buns, uh, buns, <laughs> they give me puns, and I just ban them. It's my favorite thing. Why, do you have a, do you have a pun, Puss Vessel? Uh, wasn't that easy 12 million views from you playing that game where you draw things? No, um, easy 12 million, million views was, a uh, from a video with Let's Game It Out and Snoot. Um, we are playing Surgeon Simulator. And I think it was, uh, something about, like, we're making fun of Let's Game It Out. And then, and then you get easy 12 million views or something. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 that's, that's what it was. 
No, it was it was Snoot and I. We were we were impersonating. Let's game it out. Um, and that that was his accent, you know. Uh, and he does the um, such a smooth ride from the satisfactory video. And then we're like, yep, just put that out there. Easy 12 million views. That's where it's from. Yeah. One bun, please. I'll bake you a bun. Any <laughs> stream that Jace does is satisfactory. Well, at least the, the, the plus side is when I'm playing satisfactory, I guess I don't really have to try that hard because regardless of whether the stream is good or not, it's still satisfactory. Okay, it is really fucking dangerous up here, I think. Yeah, because that guy's here. And that guy. MK2... If I convert this to MK3 minor, then I know for sure we're going to be chilling. We're going to be big chilling. Let's go stand over here, maybe. Okay. Uh, that is quite overclocked, actually. Wait. So how much is this doing right now? 480 per minute. So I could overclock it again, but I- OH MY GOD! Relax! Relax! Oh, a little bit of poo came out. Holy shit! Fuck me! Alright, uh... MK3 minor. I hope you're sleeping well there, Jimmy. Hope I didn't wake you up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> mew, 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 mew. Ow. <laughs> Sleeping. Is... Okay, I need steel pipes. That sucks. I might have to buy some. <clears throat> Unless. Oh, this is a equipment workshop. Let's go to craft bench. <laughs> you hate to see it. All right. Well, the coupons, they're not going to spend themselves, folks. So... It's only one coupon, it's no big deal. Oh, did I take it? Wait, what happened? Did I... I didn't take it? Whoa, what am I looking... What am I trying to do here? Minor, minor. I didn't think I took it. I, d I definitely didn't. Okay, so let's go again. No! Hopefully I didn't spend. Did I spend? I don't think I spent it, did I? I must... Oh, they're still here. Oh, they were in purchases all along. Yo, I got scammed. The UX on this uh, shopping website is too bad. Oh, no. I got scammed. Well played, Amazon. Like, wondering what the... Actual fuck you doing, right, right. You modding a game you're working on? No, I'm just playing- this is the game that I worked on. Um, but just- I'm just playing through it. Yeah. Just playing through it. So I'm, uh, trying to fix, um, some production lines of my factory. That's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Minor. MK3. I should be able to do this now. And then now we should be chilling. Uh, I think I should probably hold some heels. While I inspect. Also, why is this? Oh, is it starting up? What's going on? Oh, here they come. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. 480, shit. It needs to be pow- uh, Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. It has a red light on it. Why? It's lying. It's lying. Power shark. Click. 960. Wait, how much can I do? 780? On MK5s? 780. Let's go back. We're going in. Uh. Ah. Uh.
I really hope that that was the right one. I think it was the right line. Oh, my train. Look at him go. Yeah, so this is the MK4 one. This is probably right. It's it's really it's really going. So it's probably right. Okay, so now we have 780 bauxite coming in, so we should be good on the bauxite front, which means we can now create a little bit more silica. Uh, right now, do I have any of these overclocked? Wait, what's your problem exactly? Why are you at 64%? Why is everyone else at 100%? Oh, is this getting starved? Is there not enough silica coming in? Wait, are you kidding me? Do I actually not have enough silica? I mean, well, wait, wait, it's the crystals, right? But I have a fuck ton of crystals. Oh, it can't output the silica. That's the problem. Why can't it output the silica? Is this the issue that I had before where belts were too quick? So like, people have asked, why do you sometimes like go through and like calculate the belts? And why don't you just use the quickest ones? Is this the, and I remember that there was a reason why I did it. And I wonder if it's this, because like buildings that are further down the train chain, they push out, they push out too much. And then the stuff down the end can't push anything out, you know? I wonder if that's what's happening here. Um, but maybe that's only happening because Do we have excess silica? How much is being used here? 75 times 8. Uh, what is that? 600? Yeah. Um, 600. And then this is going to be another 37.5. So it's going to be 637.5. Is I think how much we are using. Well, that's how much we will be using. We produce 50, 50, we produce 200 here. So we've got 200. Uh, there's gonna be another little bit here, which I don't wanna, I don't wanna set the recipe for this yet, but uh, this is a luminous solution. Here, this will be how much a luminous solution? 30. So that means 12.5 silica. I actually had that number in my notes already. So it'll be 212.5 silica created here. And then here we have a fuck ton of silica. 37.5 each. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> 11 times 37.5. That's not the thing. That's the wrong thing again. 11 times 37.5. What did I save? So that's plus 412.5. So that means we're making 0.5 plus 212.5. We're making 625 silica. I turn on the other building. My numbers aren't matching up. But, okay, so I, I calculated a total of 637.5 needed. But did that include this? I think it did. So it was 37.5. 75 times, that's 600. And 37.5, right. 212.5 made here. I 
Okay, so I think I was overproducing silica before, which makes sense. That's why this backed up. But now I will have 212.5 plus 412.5. Six two five minus six three six three seven point five. So I need to make an additional twelve point five. So basically, we just need to overclock a little bit, which is pretty chill. We need an so this needs to be fifty. Boom. So this will be the right amount of silica. We now have the right amount of bauxite. We should have enough the right amount of water. Uh, I haven't checked coal, <laughs> actually. Fuck! We need to go check coal. Uh, Illumina solution should be set up correctly once we once we turn this thing on. Then the process begins. And then I... And then... Wait, and then after that, we make the ingots here. <laughs> we don't have power here. <laughs> okay. And then we have to make more. We have to overclock stuff here to make the casings. So these make 60. We need one of them to make 80. <laughs> it doesn't really matter which one. but we can't turn this on right now. Okay. So chat, remind me, what I need to do is power this on. I could also make notes, but just, you know, power, uh, so set recipe on refinery, um, overclock constructor. So I've got to check, check coal, set recipe on refinery, overclock constructor. Is this powered? Not powered yet. It is now. This is powered. Is this powered? This is powered, I think. It is. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, dude, heavy size, no worries. Thanks for stopping by, dog. Take care, have a good sleep. <clears throat> if you can still get update 8, I can't play update 8 because of Unreal 5. Uh, I don't think you can get update, update 7. Um, I bought a new one a few months back. I think it's all definitely worth the investment, yeah. Hey, Tom, sir, how you doing? Output is 60 or below. Yeah, I usually I usually actually calculate like what the expected outputs of everything is and use the right belts. Spend some time to extract a bit of audio for a new command. Sure, sure, go go for it, and uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll add it, maybe not, but by all means, send it through. I was gonna come. Oh wait, I was gonna come up with a pun about blowing my nose, but I blew Oh my god, I didn't read that part! Ugh. Well, that was the first and last time Jimmy hangs out in my strap, in my chat. Ugh. Out of here. Um. Aren't they 480 belts? Uh, these ones? These are 480 belts, I think. If I have 37.5 times 10 plus 50 or 25, should be fine. Let's check coal. Let's check the coal. Check the coal. Let's check the coal. How much coal do we need? We need not a lot, I think. 15, 120, 
240, 255 coal. Make a note. Where's the coal come from? How much we got? Was waiting for it. <laughs> You're out of here, buddy. You're out of here. Take care. Catch you later, man. How many hours my current save? I don't know. 231 hours. But the, the number of hours that I have is not really indicative of the game. Of, of Because I use this for work as well. So there's like a lot of extra hours, like random hours that may have come from work stuff. So, Or my previous work stuff. I would have been here years ago, probably. The name of this game is a pun? Yeah. And I remember not liking it when when, I, when, I, when it was first suggested. I was like, absolutely not. And I was absolutely wrong. Over here. I feel like just looking at the belt. Hmm, we'll see. 255 coal. It looks like about it's about maybe about half is saturated. So I'm thinking if this is Oh shit. Oh shit. Picking up multiple picks of personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. I'm not liking how this is going. So half of 480s, you know, 240. Yeah, it's probably not enough. Oh shit! Yo, we we fucking lost. 240 per minute. I don't think I'm safe here. 240, what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? 255. Just all the way. No. Yes, that's fine. Hello. Shit my pants. Okay, now we we definitely have enough coal. We saw love again when they released 1.0. I'm not sure yet. I have to decide a little later. So you're talking like you didn't make a pun myself. I didn't make the pun. What did I suggest? I don't remember. Oh yeah, that one, that pun. Yeah, right, I remember that plus vessel. Wow, geez. Okay, yeah, 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 I did make that pun. I did make that pun. And you know what? I regretted it ever since, okay? Okay, so the things I need to do was check coal, that's done. I need to set the recipe on the refinery and then overclock the constructor. Uh, the recipe here is, um, this recipe. But then I need to make uh, not this much uh, luminous solution. I need to make 30 luminous solution. And then I have to go over and overclock the constructor to make 20 more casings. I think they make here. It makes 60. I need it to make 80. I think that's it. Uh, because we make the ingots here. 
Jeez, that was quick. And I have to pee. So, uh, quick, uh, short ad break. Actually, the ads are going to start soon. We'll just take a regular ad break. We'll let this kind of run and saturate and see how it goes, and then we'll assess the damage, okay? So, see you guys in a couple minutes. We're back. Wait, did everyone just jam at the same time? Wait, did I... Did everyone just... Hang on a second, wait. Am I having an aneurysm? I looked over, there weren't gem ball jams there, and then boom, three people did them at the same time. That's what happened in my brain. Did that actually happen? Or or were they actually staggered and, and I just didn't realize? All right, it was, you guys were just jamming through the ad break. Okay, I, I don't know. I guess I... That was weird. I had a moment. Sorry. Aneurysm. I want a stream. You know? One per stream. Okay. Uh... Oh, boy. All right, let's take a look then. Just woke up and haven't had Brecky yet, so might go on a Macca's run. <laughs> oh, Brecky menu is closed. Jadon, my soul. <laughs> Jadon. There's no Jadon! <laughs> Thank you so much for the tier one sub, uh, Pinoy. Much appreciated. Uh, that should be a plus program counter. Who knows at this point? Uh, because sometimes some of the subs are counted before or not. Who knows? Whatever. But um, we're already pretty close to the 100. That's massive. So fantastic. Thank you very much, Pino. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's see here. 60. That's 240. Plus this. Okay, so uh, the, we do have a bit of a bottleneck here because this this is 240, this is 240, this is 480, but then there's a little bit more now because of this. So I think this little connector part here needs to be uh, MK5 actually. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably fine. That is overclocked to have an extra 20. So we are now producing 20 more aluminum casings per minute, which is great. Um, that was what we wanted to do. Uh, and the reason we were doing that is because, and this is the next hard part, part, I want to turn this back on. Now, when I do this, it also means 50 more sulfuric acid needs to be in the system and 40 alumina solution. Um, and for that, yeah, that, that, this is a little tricky. So I'll have to add 20. So these will be 96 each. Fucking vominos, let's go. Turn it on, who cares? Uh, this would be 96. And that jumped from 114 to 144. So that jumped up 30, okay. So this is 96. Uh, so these both need 30 more water now. Uh, and they get their water from... These two get their water from... Oh, no, it's not 30 more. Because this produces water. 30. So it's... Uh, so it is 30 more. It's not 60 more. These were 30 more water total. But we already get 30 from recycling. So we need... We just need... 30. This... Jesus. Holy fuck. What are these numbers? How much water do we need? 144, 144, 288 minus... Oh my god. We need 30 more. Okay, so let's do, let's add 15, uh, let's add 30 to this one. 78, boom. But why is this 78? Why is this 72? We can make this 75 and the other one 75. Add three here, minus three over there. 75. 75, I guess. The other thing that we need is additional sulfur, which I think is this building. It needs to turn on. Wait, that's another 50 water in, but that's a different 
line. That's this line. Okay, let's check real quick how much water we need here. 50, 100, 200, 240. Interesting. Okay, this is underclock. 240 water from these two water pumps. Very good already. Okay. This needs 288 water, but it also has 40... Geez, 40 times 4, I think. Which is 160 plus 32. Um, 160 plus 32 is 192. No, I'm looking at the wrong thing. This is 20. Wait, this makes 24 water. What am I doing? 30, 24. So 30, 60, 90, 120 plus 24 is 144. I need 144 out of these three. Why don't I just have two? So 114. Why don't I just have two? I need 144. Why don't I just have two at 72? Why do I have so much water? Oh, that's not good. Wait, why do I have so much water? Okay. Let's see this one more time. 30, 54, 84, uh, 114, 144. Yeah, minus 144. So it's basically 144, right? Yeah. 144. Okay. I don't know why I have three. Okay, I think we're good now. So this should have the correct amount of water. I think we're good. <clears throat> Pulse check and hydrate. Thanks, uh, Backbone. Uh, request an accent. The TF2 sniper, but not Australian. Gotcha. Here we go. G'day, mate. I'm the sniper from uh, Team Fortress 2. Uh, bang, bang. Um, what's the thing about piss or something like that? Varminos. <laughs> See, that, that was the... I, I did it with the Texan accent, you know? I did it with the Texan accent. Varminos! Changing it up, you know, keeping you on your toes. I don't like this here. I feel like we can probably bring power in a in a better way, you know. Ba -da -ba -da -bum, ba -da -ba -da -bum. Maybe like that. Although those are kind of good to have when flying around this area, I suppose. It's like I was right there, <laughs> Lamal Worth. <laughs> Uh, let's see. 
<laughs> Why not four true Valencia? You know what? Maybe I should just make 144 uh, water pumps and each of them just do one, one per minute. I played TF2? Yeah, yeah, I have. It's been a long time, though. I forgot his lines. I forgot his lines. Okay, so... I feel like I'm hearing something... Start and stop. Who's doing that? Is it you? It's you. Why? Probably too much water. Let's see here. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. We should be using the correct amount of water. 40, 50. Yeah, that's 2, 240. Okay. There's probably just too much water in the system, maybe. I might just flush a pipe or something real quick. Just remove some of the water from the system. 0% efficiency, that's, um, that's truly something. It wasn't on. Neither was this one! I deleted the only one! <laughs> there was only one! There was only one that was making water and I deleted it! Fuck! Hopefully there was enough residue water in the system that things don't break down. Everyone still looks happy. No, they're not! They're not happy! We may need more water. We may need a little bit more water. Turn this up for a bit. Oh, that's annoying. My wounds, boy! Yeah, my fucking wounds, boy. Holy shit. That's rough. Get rid of this valve for a second. Let some of this water come back in here. Just, just to store the water a little bit, you know? I'm trying to remember my posture. Okay. This should get better. Why is it idling? Why did that idle? So these all need to be running at 100% for the Illumina solution to work, and this is not running 100%. It's idling, so it's not producing enough water, which means the Illumina solution won't be uh, uh, able to run, and neither is this. So I think I need to keep, I, I need to keep this overclocked. I need to keep extra stuff going in. Uh, but when I say stuff going in, it also needs to go back. Fuck. Or another thing I can do is I can plug this in here. 
just for a little bit. Fluids are actually fun. I do like dealing with fluids. I actually do enjoy it. It's very fun. Go watch Elijah Wood's motivational video. I'm fully motivated. I'm ready to go. Just seeing Elijah Wood's uh, name reminds me of his laughing face at that interview he did with Sean Monaghan. Is that his name? I think it is. You know, do you wear wigs? Oh, I love that. So good. And Elijah Wood's like trying to be polite and then just can't fucking help it. He just, you haven't seen it? Search for um, uh, Elijah Wood. Uh, Sean, I think his name is Mo Monahan. Monahan or something like that. Will you wear wigs? Exactly. Have you worn wigs? You gotta watch that shit. And he doesn't know. He doesn't know it's a troll. And so Elijah Wood is, tr is trying to be polite. <laughs> you know? He's trying as hard as he can, but he just can't fucking contain it. And he just explodes laughing at this guy that he thinks is just like some random interviewer. Also, there's nothing more triggering than the fact that these pipes are just a little, a little off. But you know what? That's just too fucking bad. That's just too bad, man. That's just too bad. Right, look, this has to have enough fluid in it now. Got a lot of excess fluid. Getting up to the 100. They're getting up there. I think I might do the old switch flick here. Who's that? Who's that? You again? Why? I wonder if I need a valve here. Ooh. 300. Does this need to be MK2? It doesn't need to be, but what the hell? I don't have copper sheets, you're kidding me. It's always 100%. I think this one is like... I think there's too much water in this system. I think that's the problem. Okay. Getting pretty full now. Okay, these need to chill.
the valve, fuck. Maybe I needed to take it out the, the, the back end, you know? I'm not sure. These don't look super full. I mean, some of these look super full. That looks super full. I guess I could have just flushed the segments. I didn't need to build the uh, this here. I wonder if this would be better with MK2s. If a valve here could be good as well. Oh no. What colors do I have? Is this correct? It's good enough. Okay. You should be at 100%. 98? Well, it's probably from the initial startup. Looks like it's got enough water. This looks like it has a lot of water as well. So now we're probably creating enough aluminum solution, which is 96 uh, per minute times 2, 96 times 2, 192. I think that's how much we need. 40, 32. So it's 4, 160, 92. Yeah, yeah, 192. 192, yeah. It's getting up there. Okay, yeah, and this aluminous solution thingy is actually increasing a little bit. I'm actually not sure if that's good or bad, but this is still idling. Not sure if that's good or bad. Sinking all this silica, by the way, which we could have used. Hey, that's 80 silica. We could have used that. We could have plugged that in here. I went and got extra bauxite for this. We had extra bauxite right there. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, okay. But I think the important thing here, it's not super bad if these aren't running 100%, but I think that they are probably set up to. The important thing is, even if these run at 100%, we'll have enough aluminium cases. That's the important part. And if they don't run at 100%, then we end up with a storage of aluminium casings, which is perfectly fine. Uh, so I think that that's actually okay. So, we've actually kind of figure everything out. Hey, Tabor, how you doing? <clears throat> Dominic Monaghan. Oh, that was Sean. My bad. So stupid. No, Sean. Yeah, it was Dominic, not Sean. Nothing wrong with excess fluid. It's perfect when you turn off the water plate. Yeah, excess fluid actually helps a bunch there. Who'd have thunk it? Um, who'd have thunk it? Hello, fish. Uh...
brain too foggy. Hey, it happens. It happens. Uh, I actually think we've done everything that I wanted to do today because I think we've fixed the aluminium casings. Um, I think we're done with the, the copper ore. And maybe the turbo fuel is run, uh, factory is running at 100%. So I think we should double check things. <gasps> oh, look at that! Chat, look at that fucking line! Look at that fucking line! Holy shit! You see that? That is the turbo fuel factory working perfectly. No, that's not a gay line. It's perfectly straight. It's 100% straight. 100%. Holy shit. Incredible. Yeah, that compact uh, coal stuff. That really helped. So I think we can say that the turbo fuel factory is working at 100% now. We probably don't even have to go back over there, but we can go take a look anyway because it's really cool. Um, we can go back and check the copper ore. Make sure that that is working. Little diagonal in some spots. No, it's perfect. The, the gray line at the top. The, 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 the orange line at the bottom is going gonna, is gonna to fluctuate. Especially since I have a particle accelerator. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fluctuate. Um, but this gray line is perfectly straight. Well, we can see it go from 36550 to 36551 or 2 here and there. I'm sure that's just rounding, rounding errors. The gray line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gray line. <laughs> that's a that's a great emote there, Valencia. Okay, that's huge. Let's go check the uh, particle accelerator. That should be at one hundred percent now. We should see that running at a hundred percent. And if that says one hundred percent, then we know that that is now working perfectly. The whole copper solution that we put in that should be working as well. Um, the aluminium casings, that one is not super easy to verify. We have to let it sit for a while and then check some of the space elevator parts and, and see if they're running at hundred percent or not, but it won't be, it won't be obvious, uh, one way or another, I think, uh, immediately. And then I might wrap the stream up. It was a good run. It was kind of like housekeeping today. But I think we still had a lot of wins. Whoa! Fun! Fun! No! Wow! You did it! <laughs> Who was that? Who was Matt. that? Who was that? Matt? Of course it was Matt. Yo! What the hell, Matt? Matt, Matt is doing RNG manipulation. That's actually crazy. Easy also, we're in the, we're the wrong part, part of the map. Matt, what the hell? <laughs> I think you've got that more than you have other Vamanos things. What was that? There's a, there's a chance when you do the Vamanos uh, command that you get the epic Vamanos. Um... And it's, it's rare, but Matt, apparently it's not rare for Matt. <laughs> Matt gets it every time. It's actually crazy. I think the Vominos is on cooldown now, Uli. Okay. Ads! Ads! Oh, yes, 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 yes! 91%. Yeah, we don't have enough copper powder. Hey, who's not doing their part? Okay, so these are at 92%. Damn. He's really sure. 86? Is it the iron ore? That's the problem. <laughs> don't fucking do this to me. Don't fucking do this to me. It's the iron ore. It's the iron ore, Chad. <laughs> You're giving me a fucking... Yeah, I, I am. We need 37.5 times 8. Is that 300? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's check how much is coming in. How much is coming in? Fuck. Stream ain't ending. Stream ain't ending. We're not done. 
We're not done. We finished what we started. <laughs> now iron is broken. I think the iron... The iron definitely won't need another um, drone. Because it needs half as much. Uh, well, hang on, hang on. Or, or it won't need another dr drone port. I don't know if it uses one drone or two drones. Shit. If I only have one drone, then I'll need to add the other drone here. Let's... Hmm. Let's go back here. Let's go back here. I can't remember where the drone... Because we're closer to this. I may, may have to add a second drone. If I've added a second drone... There's no shot that I've added a second drone. There is literally no way. So many great sounds. Thank you, no worries. Right, so this means that there is no drone here. And there's only one drone coming in. So if I build a drone here and have it go get iron ore, I think everything's going to be okay. The only thing I need to make sure is that enough iron ore is going in, but I think it is. Drone. Hey, limiters. Uh, we can steal AI limiters from here somewhere. Yo! You're fucking kidding me. I have a I have a bunch here. Well, I wouldn't say a bunch. How many do I need? Two? Portable. Okay, dude, whatever. Uh, I think it was two. Just take a bunch. Workshop. Workbench. Portable miner. Go. No, I don't even need a portable miner. I just need the limiters. I have portable miners. Oh my god, I'm going insane. I'm actually having an aneurysm. It really, really is the end of stream. This is way more impressive than I thought it would be. What? What is? I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, so this is the iron here. No! Couple of drones are in, uh, are in, that's huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably hyped about old news. Yeah, the drones came out, update four. Update four. It was like three years ago or something like that, but they're pretty cool. Oh, wait. It's you, Azara. Hello. I didn't even notice. Hello, hello. Oh, you don't know too much about Satisfactory. Right, right. Well, that was my... Got a particle accelerator there. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. How did I get good at the game? I, I don't actually... I'm not really that good at the game. I'm actually not. Um, it's just... Uh, when you just work on... A, you just take a... Just work on each project. You know? One little project at a time. One step at a time. And then if you just keep playing, it, you get... You just... You end up with something that looks like this. So like this isn't like super super great. It's just I, I just did like one one small project at a time. The game like super overwhelmed me many many times. Oh, I need I need to give this some batteries. I think I got like super overwhelmed by the games a game many times, and I'm like oh god, it's so hard to figure out how everything should work. And then I started thinking, you know what, fuck it, I'm not gonna try to figure out how everything works. I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. And then one thing led to another, and now I have this factory. The, uh, the exception is the turbo fuel factory. That one I planned. And that was... Um, that took a long time. That was rough. That was real rough. I am proud of it, though. But I'll never do something like that again. Uh, yeah. 
You, you learn you learn a bunch of stuff, a lot of tricks along the way, you know? Sometimes a lot of basic things were hard for me at first. But then I learn a lot of building tricks, then I can build quicker and things like that. Um Entire effectiveness of it all. Yeah, I try and keep things as like 100% if I can. But yeah. A few factory thing. So this is very impressive. Oh, thanks. Um, I want to go and check Snoot's dirty asshole real quick. Um, check the iron that's going in there. There should be... It should be... I should be feeding in... Enough. Iron. <laughs> um... The battery management makes drones kind of mad unless you plan drones extremely well. Actually, they're really efficient. The, the drones are really efficient with their batteries. And so it, usually it still requires like an additional drone port. I just have uh, I just have drones that like go and deliver batteries to other drones, basically. And that's actually really easy, quick and easy to set up. Uh, and the drones are really efficient. So if you have like, um, if you make a, a reasonably good battery factory, and then, and then that's the hub to distribute uh, batteries elsewhere. It actually works out pretty well, and that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment. I have so much excess in batteries. So this is my battery factory here. This, this setup here. And uh, like I'm, I'm just permanently sinking batteries. Like I have way too many. I have this entire thing full. Um. Okay, I think this used a bunch of extra batteries just now because of the new drone that I put down. Okay, so let's check the iron ore here. This is coming out of MK4 belt, and this is pretty full. So this is 480 for sure. Uh, iron coming in, something like that. Uh, 273 items per minute. This needs to go up to 300. It should do that now with a new drone. Maybe it just hasn't updated yet. Um... And then these two ports here distribute batteries. And then I've got room here to make more ports that distribute more batteries. And yeah, that too. But I would see drones just out of commission and not care anymore. Oh, really? What do you use trains for now that you have drones? Um, trains... Um, I think trains are, are better at moving like large, 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 large quantities of stuff to different parts of my my world. And that's what I do. I have one big train loop. I have one other train line that's just kind of like a monorail that goes back and forth that delivers nitrogen um, to, a, to a factory. But then, uh, so, so transporting fluids for one, so I don't have to package them. But then the other thing is that they just carry so much from like like big factories that produce a lot of things and then they um they distribute it to other factories but it, it, it was mostly yeah it, to like i i used the trains because that's what i had at the time i didn't have drones at the time when i had trains right so i couldn't use drones but even when i think of those factories now i don't think i'd want to use drones for those but in these particular cases it's just like I don't need a fuck ton of aluminium casings. I just need them to go to one factory. That's it. I just need a reasonable amount to go to some factory. Yeah. All right. Now we're at 527 items per minute. We're good. We just needed that to be uh, 300 plus. So that means we should now be fine with the uh, copper powder. Um... We're good with the copper powder. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to check the batteries again. See, I, I want to see if uh, the status of this. I don't think it can be at 100% now, but the situation could also have gotten worse. And if it did get worse in this time, then that might be telling. Okay, that's 100%. But that was 100% before as well. This is 100%. This one was not 100% before. It is now. Fantastic. This is the new one that we turned on. 
95 percent and uh and and it's increasing with the alumina solution which means which means this will go up to 100 percent but is that okay if it's increasing well is it increasing maybe it's not increasing it might be steady now it should be steady now well it's increasing <laughs> it's not steady if it's increasing, that's actually bad. Um, unless it's going to decrease again soon. Because if it's increasing, we're going to have too much in the system. And then the system will probably back up eventually. We shouldn't, though. 40, 40, 40, 40. Just 160 plus 32, which is this one here. 192. 96 plus 96 is 192. We should be fine. I don't know. All right, let's go check. Uh, let's see how much time do we have. Oh, pause the check and hydrate. Thanks, Tabor. Um. Mesmerized at how well organized is. My OCD heart is happy. Well, I do have uh, folks here see, see how how nitpicky I am over like some OCD, like little OCD things that I can't handle. Like even this building here, look at this, look at this. It was supposed to be in line with these, but it cut through this. So we did this today on stream. And I was like, well, we're gonna have to break the pattern a little bit just so that this whole thing can go through without it, you know? So I, I spent a lot of time over the details. Um, yeah, this, I don't know. I just, something about my factories. They do look like they look a little chaotic, but they're also they're, they're, there's something neat about them as well. I don't know. Could just be balancing. Probably Durdrum. It might be that. Organized chaos. <laughs> Two people said it at the same time. Organized chaos. Yeah, exactly. They look like a circuit board. I think so as well, Miski. Yeah. I really like this factory, actually. This is one that I made. This is one of my first factories that I made. And I was... You know not even remotely this is like really early in the game um you know around i guess coal or whatever um and when i first made this factory uh yeah i was still still i was not ne nearly as good of a builder as i am now or whatever but i think it was very still very neat it's pretty well thought through i feel like this is curved which um hurts but um the other thing that was really cool about this factory was, I don't think it's the case anymore. It's not the case anymore. But this factory would produce uh, rubber, plastic, and it was completely self-sufficient. So it would it would fuel itself with uh, co these coal gens here. Um, so that was pretty cool. But it's not the case anymore. I was really proud of that when I made it. Now. You do repair on circuit boards, nice. PCBs, yeah. Printed circuit boards, that's the P, right? Printed, I think. Where I'm at with power, I have a lot of power. We're gonna go check out the uh, turbo fuel factory now. I'm gonna go see all the green lights. <clears throat> but I did wanna see... 
I'm still, the, the one thing that we wanted to fix today were the aluminum casings, which we've done, but it's the one thing that I haven't, hello, that I haven't like hard verified yet, but I don't think I can verify it yet. I think the game just needs to run for a while and then I need to go check to see if, if it ran out. Maybe we can check via the drones. So if we look at aluminum casings, oh, maybe we can. Okay, so this uses aluminum casings. That's 64 per minute. I'm gonna write this down in my notepad. 64. Where we've got 160 coming in, and these are building up. 160. 60 per minute. Okay, let's go underneath. I don't remember what else uses the casings. They're around here somewhere. Here. Oh, is it the infused frames? One hundred. Oh, okay. This is problematic. So we're using... Oh, maybe it's fine, actually. We're using... Uh, we need 164 aluminum casings per minute. The drone port said that it's transferring 160. But it could also have been... I wonder if... Um, it could also have been because look how look how full this is. Three point five stacks per minute. That would be six hundred and Okay. Okay. Well wait, maximum transfer rate. Three point five stacks per minute. That would be six hundred um seven hundred. Okay, but then how much am I making over in the other place? That's the hard part. So the drone can carry enough. The question is, do I produce enough back at the other factory? I think the casings, they don't go anywhere else. They only go here. Hello, buddy. Let's see if this number changes. What if I get rid of a bunch of stacks? No, don't do that. No, no, no. One sixty still. And it still has more it still has more casings on it. It has a thousand. So it's it's just that this is full. Okay, so the drone the drone bandwidth, the throughput of the drone is fine. And I need 164. Let's go back again. I wanna check the production again. Maybe we can uh I'd I just love to confirm this. Gonna play some he uh heck divers too with some people. Alright, no worries, no boy. Take care, take care. Gonna be wrapping up soon anyways. So it's only 164. But what uses casings? I think it's just the batteries, apart from the 164. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh my god, look, if if the numbers don't add up here, I'm gonna actually have an aneurysm. <laughs> what was that? The Cat Vector, thank you very much for the follow. Also, uh, Zakalis as well, thank you for the follow. Tabor, thanks for your follow. I can't remember if I thanked you or not, but uh, I responded to you in chat. But uh, El Dragon as well. Uh, Meshk, thank you, everyone. Uh, Zeal, thank you very much. Okay, let's see here. 16. This is going to be 20, isn't it? 20, 20 times 4, that's 80, 96. So it's 96 here. So total, whoop, that's map, is 64 plus 100 plus 96, 260 total. Oh, please, for the love of God, please. Please be 260. One twenty. One eighty. Needs to be eighty. Yes, it's eighty. That's two sixty. And these are all at hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. So I think we can confirm that casings are fine. I am producing enough. The drones the drone can carry enough. Where do these casings go? They go in here, right? I mean, this is backing up, I guess. Well, I don't know if it's backing up or not, but yeah, it should be fine. All right, let's finish up with a quick look at the turbo fuel factory because it should be working. I want to see all those green lights. Let's double check. Oh, it's still straight. Oh my God. Oh, so, so cool. So cool. Oh. That means, like, across, like, an additional... Since making the turbo fuel factory and having it run at 100%, it's probably been, like, I don't know, 30 hours or something like that? 40 hours? Maybe more? And that means across all that time, the fluids have not messed up. We had an issue with the, the coal, but not the fluids. So that's pretty cool. There's going to be another Yakuza announcement this year. Oh, cool. That's nice. <laughs> I usually uh, I usually don't keep up with the Yakuza stuff. All I all I do is I have a friend who tells me uh, there's a there's a new Yakuza coming out and on this day. I'm like, okay, cool. And I, I've like muted everything else. I, I actually have I never seen any any uh, any news about the Yakuza stuff. So I hadn't heard about the the announcement. So that was pretty cool. But uh, if you know any more, anything more, don't tell me. Hmm. I just go in. I buy every game. Uh, thank you, Colos, for the follow. I buy every every Yakuza game, every spinoff from Yakuza. Buy every single one, and I've gotten uh, platinum trophies on every single one. Uh, yeah, I love those games. I, I get the feeling that um, one thing I'm a bit hesitant about is like, I feel like they're they're making their games a little like it's getting bigger, you know, like the whole like bigger and better, you know, kind of mindset with sequels and stuff. I get the feeling like in my gut that they're that they're leaning more into that stuff, and I don't know if I like it so much. I don't know if I like that direction, but I think this, it, I think it's it's um there's still like a lot of fun to be had anyway. There it is. There's the turbo fuel tower for anyone who hasn't seen it. There it is. Darshi blows. My finest creation. Told me you like games that focus on one thing and do it well. Yeah, well, so like the interesting thing about Yakuza is like there, there was like what, like seven <laughs> games in the series that all took place in like basically one city that was kind of small 
And um, I think that there's um, there's a lot of value in keeping areas small and familiar and having players run around the same areas, but having different connections to them. Like you still see the same small area kind of change over time and evolve with the years. So you, you create all these different like memories and connections with the same area. But I, I think that I think there's a trap when it comes to we're going to make uh, our uh, this this world really, really big. There's a trap there because I think that the, the thought is, well, if it's bigger, then there's more to do and therefore people like it more. But then it, it just creates a bunch of other design issues that I don't know if the trade off is fair, not just design, but technical issues. Um, also, I don't know about you guys, but I'm seeing green everywhere. I'm seeing green every. You seen these? Look at this. Rows of green. Hello? And I bet you, I bet you, if we go down and check the excess turbo fuel, we're going to see. See lots of red. Not, yes, red color, but not red indicator lights, Balancia. No attitude out of you. All right. Uh, so this is where we package this, right? Okay, this hasn't done shit for a while. I forget how this works. How does this... Where does this plastic even come from? I don't even remember. Holy shit. This system is so convoluted. Oh, this is where the turbo fuel comes from. Look at that. See, look at that excess turbo fuel. That's what we're talking about. Okay, maybe there's actually no excess turbo fuel. Either way, it's running at 100%. That's what we like to see. If we check these um, refineries back over here. Wait, hang on a second. How do you... You guys know about that? Hundred <laughs> percent. Someone reminded me of it recently. They were like, "Is that still in the game?" So uh, I can I can tell them. Yeah, it is. A lot of green lights. Is there a he hidden emote that you can get on RNG? Yeah, there's the um, there's a few. There's uh, the Naruto run. There's the which one is it? Is it clap? Maybe. And, and they do like a ninjutsu or whatever it is. There's that one as well. Yeah, they have clappers, yeah. If doing the clap had a chance of playing the song from the trailer. Oh yeah, that could be fun. Yeah, <laughs> clapping and shutting off a power line. Yeah, you just shut down your factory. <laughs> Everything just turns off. You have to go and manually flick every switch. Ah, shit. Alrighty, well, I think that's it. This is a Naruto run, yeah. And you can only you can only see it in multiplayer, right? Because obviously you can't see yourself. Uh, occasionally you'll see a uh, your friend when they run, they'll do like a Naruto run. Yeah, GGS, good sesh. We got everything, everything that I was going for today. Um, we got it. That's fantastic. So what's left for for satisfactory? Um. I think the only thing that I want to do is obviously I want the uh, space elevator parts to be done, right? Um, I don't think I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to mess with them to try and up their production to up the speed. I'm actually thinking that it might be fun to do some like uh, 
24 hour like AFK uh, stream or something. I'm just gonna let let it on. I'm, I'll, I'll I'll pop in and out or something like that. You know. Um, yeah, no trophies. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. But um, but then the other thing that I want to do is uh, I do want to get nuclear power. And if I get nuclear power, I think it would be nice to get plutonium and like recycling the the waste. I think that would be nice too. Those two goals would be good. But I I I want to do as min the minimal the minimal amount for that. I just want to get it up and running just so I have had the experience doing it. But yeah, ad stream. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think it could be fun. Or have it in a small window on dev streams. Yeah, I could maybe do that. That that could be pretty good, actually. Um, I think another thing that could be good is... Um, one other thing I was thinking is I could have, like, the 24-hour thing going. Um, but also, like, not that I would never be there. It's like, I'll be there for a bunch of it, but, like, not all of it because I, I can't... I just can't be active for that long, right? Um, but, like, I could play other games, right? There's some other... Other games that like I'd like to check out that maybe aren't super taxing, that aren't like super time investing, investing, and I could have just like on OBS I'll crop the uh, the uh, the uh, space elevator status thingy, and I'll just keep that in the top corner. So while we play like other games, we can see how that's going, and I'll just put satisfactory on the lowest settings or something like that, so it doesn't you know tank my PC. That could be kind of fun. Yeah, so similar to what Ben's saying, basically, but with variety games as well. But it could it could be a small window in dev streams. I think that's okay as well. Yeah. A little satisfactory cam. Yeah, exactly. I think that could be kind of funny. Next to the feet cam. Maybe what I could do is uh, I could have other cams. So if uh, I'm not on stream, I can have feet cam. So you guys can at least see the feet. Um, or sleeping cam. I'll make a bunch of different cams. So if, I, if I'm not physically present... You get to see. Alright, I wonder if I can get, like, um... Maybe I can get, uh... Uh, Cosmo to sort of, like, idle and kind of, like, look around. And and maybe that would be kind of fun. I don't know. Lowest settings and re resolution, yeah. I know a lot of fun things that I could do. Yeah. If you cannot spoil it, that's okay. What do you think? Yeah, so I have a question, uh, a video about that, Colos. Uh, so he's asked questions, and that's just basically the the more thought out response to those kind of questions. Basically, I'm not I'm not going to answer, right? But I don't want to be like I'm not answering because it, it's okay, it's fine that you asked, but I can't give you a a, a good answer to any anything like that. Um, Pluton is where I got overwhelmed with my first factory. Wait, you got overwhelmed at the very end? <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty good place to get overwhelmed, I guess. Satisfactory subathon. I I can't stream for too long though. That's the thing. Like if I did like a twenty four hour stream, I probably I don't need, I don't even know if I could be there for half of it honestly. So it would just be kind of like a vibe thing that people can listen to some city girl or something. I don't know. Have it so we can control Cosmo. <laughs> Twitch plays Cosmo animations. Yeah, that could be fun. I haven't looked into that kind of stuff though. And if I were to do it, I think it I think it would take considerable like investment of my time to set up animations and learn that stuff. It's possible though. I could look into it. But I don't want to do it if it's gonna take away too much of my time and energy from like the game and things like that. You know, you guys know that I'm I'm really trying to manage the amount of time that's spent doing things that aren't um aren't my my own game. So I have to sort of be careful. Can you make a 24-hour stream on YouTube? I think you can. Uh, I don't think... I don't know if I would. I wouldn't be able to do any sort of, like, edits on YouTube. And I don't think I would... Um, if I did it, I usually I save my, my VODs locally as well. Um, that way I can edit them and make changes or fix audio or whatever if I need to. When I, if, if I want to upload a VOD. But there's no way I could save a 24-hour VOD. Because some of the like four or five hour vods that I do are like eighty gigs sometimes, depending on the game. A game like Satisfactory, it is, but if it's something a little bit more chill, then it's smaller, much smaller. Motion detection of Marius, yeah. Marius plays Satisfactory. <laughs> you guys are just going like dismantle <laughs> my space elevator or something, or yeah. We're gonna find out more about your game. You can do it with about game, and that's uh, there's not a lot, but um. Uh, I'm not sharing too much 
right now. But I do uh, random dev streams throughout the week. Uh, there, there, there is no schedule. It's more sort of when when it's convenient for me, me, and when I when I have the energy for it. Um, so usually the best place to get notified is on the Discord, and you can um, you can uh, choose to get notified on Discord if I'm gonna. I give people a heads up if this is going to be a dev stream. Uh, as for screenshots, you can uh, you can go to my YouTube and you can look at my dev videos on YouTube and you can sort of see where it's at right now. But um, yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty much it. But yeah, this um, the past few weeks I've been doing uh, a lot of writing and oh. The, the changes to the schedule, like dialing back the like the YouTube stuff, has done wonders for the the actual development of the game. Because um, there's this thing where it's like, when I'm working on like the writing, for example, of my game, or it, it can be anything. This could be programming, whatever. It's like there's there's a there's the active time that I spend that I'm actually doing things. I'm sitting down. I'm writing stuff. It could be code, whatever, or I'm actually drawing and doing art. There's, there's that, but then there's like also this passive time where it's like my passive brain energy that needs to sort of like wander and sit with that stuff. And every time before, that was being taken over by content stuff, um, which is rough. But also like the fact that I was chopping and changing between tasks, right? right? Like I'll actively be doing um, programming and then I'm actively doing art and then I'm actively doing content creation stuff. Um, it, it sort of means that like I could never, if you think about sleeping, you know, when you get into like a deep REM sleep, you have to sleep for a while before you get there, right? And it's like, I, 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 was, I wasn't getting into like REM game dev, if that makes any sense. But um, now with the writing, I feel myself get to that REM writing where I'm making like bursts of progress here and there. And like the bigger picture is becoming more and more and more tangible for me. And I can really feel the progress and it feels so much better. It really lifts my mood as well, because I know that even though I have some days that feel like despair, that like I'm not progressing as much as I want, overall, I can see my progress so much more. And it's just like, it's just like absolutely the right decision. It feels really good. Yeah, writing's been going really well. It's been going really, really well. Had some some like good kind of uh, breakthroughs and things are like actually becoming more tangible. Um, it's, you know, finding like core, like I, I knew what the game was gonna be. I knew how it was all gonna work, but you need to like rope in and reel in all the ideas, right? And it's nice to have like uh, the past couple, like week and a half, I've established like a bunch of really, really concrete things, which is good because concrete things means you can exclude other ideas that are good ideas, but they don't belong with the concrete idea, right? Um, so it's been nice being able to, to exclude uh, options off the table so that I'm left with, okay, well then this is what's gonna happen. It's been really great. It feels so good and it's so exciting and I'm like, I'm enjoying it so much. Yeah, getting the details down, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I've gotten to a point where it's like, uh, like the acts are a little bit like much more well defined. I have actual like cutscenes that are actually like full dialogue done for some, but more importantly, it's like what events take place where, and what that's going to mean is like okay, well then when I go to do level design, I know that I need X Y Z places, right, and they need to be situated in this certain way because I know what events are going to happen, you know. Um, and, and once you start getting some concrete pieces, it all starts, the domino starts to like fall into place. Um, yeah, super nice, super nice. Yeah, it's been feeling good. So obviously it's still a progress pro a process and I'm, you know, I'm not at the end, but it absolutely feels like I've done the right thing. <laughs> absolutely. And uh, it, it, it's like reinvigorated my excitement for, for the work. Uh, yeah. No, theor theor no theoretical limit on YouTube stream before you have to reset, but only the last 12 hours will be recorded. Okay. On Twitch, you can stream for 48 hours before you have to uh, you have to briefly restart it unless they change that. Okay. I know that on YouTube, after you stream for more than six hours, you can't do edits on YouTube side. I know that much. That's just a random fun fact, but yeah. It's almost six hours, so uh, I'm going to have to make sure I wrap up very, very, very soon. I'm snoozing ads, so we're going to wrap up soon. I'm uh, I'm milking um, uh, uh, Twitch here. 
That's like exactly how I feel about when I work on music production. Can't ever seem to get over the hump to where I can truly get something f uh, fully put together. Yeah, that's it's tough. It's tough because there's no like, it's not obvious, right? It's not obvious. Like there's too many good ideas, but you can't. You know, I made a, I made a, I made a video about this. You know, right? Like that was the six things that aren't coming to satisfactory, whatever video. Um, and that's what that video. There was like a, a sec section where I give a f fucking TED talk, and. Um, that's that's like it's the same point. That's the exact same point where it's like you can have you can have a million really 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 good ideas, um, uh, and it's and it's not that they're bad. They're good ideas, but you like you can't have all of them, right? If I'm gonna make a game, like when I set out to make a game, a game can be anything. Or if you if you're gonna set out to make a song, a song can be anything. Um, you know, like in terms of you have all the possibilities in the world. But at the end of the day, it's only going to be one thing. It's going to be just what it is. And it's not going to be the things... It's going to be It's going to be the, the negative space of all the things that you cleared up. You know? So... That's always tough. You just got to start excluding things. And that takes uh, shape. Milking impressions. No, I'm giving you guys more bang for your buck. That's what it is. I'm supposed to run ads. I'm giving you as much as much uh, ad-free viewing <laughs> as possible. <laughs> have you, hope you have a good rest of the day. I will. I will. Thank you. Uh, just has dominoes made out of concrete pieces. I do big concrete domino slabs. Haven't slept good for about th three months. Wait, you haven't, Dexaf? That sucks. Getting the REM or workflow is so important. Yeah, yeah, it's super nice. When to stop adding things. Or your game will never be released. That that's also true. Yeah, that's that's actually another really really cool thing. Like another good thing that um, I had someone talk to me about as well. Like I, it's like this is like a a, a a bit of wisdom that I knew, but I guess I just needed to hear it from that person again for it to click. And it was like regarding my my art. So this person's a really good, really really good artist. And I was talking to them, and they were saying they were just stressing to me that like. Like, Jace, whatever you think you want to do with your art, like, you're never going to do it, do it. You're never going to. You're just not going to, right? Because every single artist who sits down, who thinks that they're going to be doing the, the image that they have in their head, they, they rarely, they usually never do, right? Because even if you get better, the image of what you want to do gets higher, right? So it's never about getting that image down. It's about doing what what you can now and having your art represent where you are in your journey now and that will never be where you want to be you know so it will always be a little bit disappointing but that's just it so and, and that's just kind of something that like helps me as well where when i think about doing the art i'm not thinking about make i, I think less about it needing to be perfect and i think more about that well this is just who i am and what kind of artist i am now and when my game comes out, it's going to be a representation, not of the best art I can ever make, but the best art that I could do at this time, you know? And I think that's nice as well. It it takes, like, pressure off my back uh, a little bit, if that makes any sense. So, I thought that was pretty good. Amazon is furious, yeah. Yeah. Good art and think this is amazing and artists look at it and, and what they see is what they want to do instead of what they actually achieve exactly and 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 every time i speak to artists like and i go like yo like things aren't working or whatever they always give me this dead look in their eyes i see them like drift off into the distance and they're like yeah that's art and it seems like there's this like uh important lesson that all artists need to learn and that is you will there's this like you will always never reach what you're going to go for you know but people who are good at art have accepted that and they embrace that and they don't let that hold them back uh so yeah and as someone who was ne not an artist right i was a programmer this is not really a lesson that i learned and it's something that i struggle a lot with but and i i, I see me slam and face first into it you know but we'll get there we'll get there just got to learn the lessons in my own time you know We'll get there. Let's go to uh, taco, taco. Let's do taco today. Playing some uh, supermarket simulator, so we'll raise, we'll raid them. Catch you later.
is our up. Catch you later. We're also uh, wrapping up stream right now. So we'll start the raid. If you uh, want to check out my YouTube stuff, make sure you do. If you want to join the Discord, you can do Discord. Um, and uh, that's where we also uh, notify if I do random dev streams, okay? That aren't scheduled. Otherwise, every Saturday we have a scheduled stream that is this stream. We do variety stuff, okay? Um, if you, a uh, raid message. So if you're a sub, you can use this raid message. If you're not a sub, you can use this raid message. Right. Um, what else is there? I don't know. It's probably it. But uh, thank you very much, everyone, for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Uh, I had a good time today. We were uh, really productive. I missed some messages real quick. Uh, Artists of conduits to a collective vision. Oh, that's a good thing. Open door from unreality to human perception. Uh, yeah. Okay, but uh, thank you very much for the follow. Hey, DK, we need to go. And before we go, though, I do need to give a bit of an update on the the rash. I bought it a suit because it's like it wants to get its life back together. It's going to take some job interviews and things like that. So I got the rash a suit. Oh, my God. Vominos. Oh, my God. Um, thank you for the vo follow there, Short Viking. Um, I don't know if there's anyone on Twitch still watching, but if you're on YouTube, you're still watching. And also, if you're a VOD watcher, you're watching. Shout outs to the VOD watchers. If you're still watching this, leave a comment below. Say, hey, I'm still watching this. <laughs> Bye.